Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome to the third and final part of Only Use Me Wood, my attempt to beat Minecraft from start to finish, having only used wooden tools, and lever arm of that matter. Basically, no iron buckets, no flint and steels, no diamond tools, no anything of the sort, because we're beating the game using just our wood. It's going to be a lot of fun, and by a lot of fun, I mean it's a torturous session of just me trying to get ender pearls, because, you know, that's the world we live in right now. Uh, but yeah, this is me running around on a horse, trying to get some Enderman, because Enderman searching is one of the most brutal parts of Minecraft in that it really doesn't have much to do with your, <laughs> you know, like, ability to, you know, there's no, like, skill or there's no, like, techniques we can really learn. There are different techniques that work on, there's, like, a, there's a really good uh, cheese that works on Java that I like because it removes the worst part of the game, but as far as Bedrock goes, I've tried a lot of things to make this thing easier. Also, the, the horse genuinely might die if I'm not careful. Uh, I've tried a lot of things, but this means that today's stream is basically me go goofing off, looking for Enderman, and answering your questions until we get to the stage where we have most of the Ender Pearls, because right now we have five Eye Offenders, and we need to have 12. We got two Eye Offenders in a whole two-hour stream on Sunday. Man, that was that was brutal. This is, this is why this part of the game, oh man, I'm just doing this all wrong. And I can't punch my horse or I'll die, so... Just be warned, I'm just gonna just move him very gradually. No, no, no. I, <laughs> for some reason, it's really hard to Okay, there we go. We've done it. We nailed it. So we're gonna get the horse in a boat, and then we're gonna take the boat somewhere nicer. Toy Cat is very smart. Keep it up, says Sian O'Neill. Thank you very much, Xian. Sean? Kian? How do you say your name? What is your name? Is it a real name? Is it a fake name you're just telling me to hide from the police? It, it could be either, honestly. It really could be either. So yeah, basically, my plan today... Oh, there's a leather helmet over there. I do need a leather helmet. Wait, why do I have no leather armor? I feel like I had leather armor, and now I don't. Either way, free leather helmet for me. Oh, enchanted leather helmet too. You know what? This is, this is just the dream. With protection one, you know what? I said things weren't going well today, but they've taken a serious lift for the best. So hello, I'm Abby X Toy Cat. Welcome back to the live stream. And do drop. You have one of the very few uh, diamond cat badges. It's for if you've been a member for more than a year. It's a pretty cool little uh, way to mark. It's a it's a cool way to uh, represent the I guess the loyalty. The the what's the word I'm looking for? You know I'm I'm bad at words today. <laughs> but um yeah basically uh, it's uh, the I'm really, re like, I, I I couldn't come up with the word genocide earlier. Again, normal conversation with me involves the word genocide, like, ten times. So I was trying to say uh, to my friend, like, uh, oh, yeah, so, you know, something, something, you know, ki kids just want to commit genocide these days. And I was like, ooh, but, you know, like, not, what, what what's the word? Like, killing people, but, like, based on their, their, like, you know, ethnic, I was, like, trying my best to do it, and it just wasn't coming out. It's really hard. So dedication? Devotion? Ded dedicate? No, um... Their commitment, yeah, commitment's probably a good one. You know, who doesn't love commitment besides uh, a decent proportion of the male population? Also, you better be replanting all them trees, says Spyro TGC. <laughs> you know what? A wood massacre is an okay type of massacre. This is what I've learned today. These are the facts. Now, now let's just deal with them. Also, I realized to get some. No wait, I was gonna go to the Never, but that sounds incessantly too much. So instead what we'll just do is we'll spend the days goofing off and- Oh, we also need to sleep before day turns to night. So, night turns to day. There we go. Remember to sleep every single night. Kids, um, also kids committed genocide already. Look at copper. Hey, haha. Because, because YouTube content. Oh Jesus, I'm getting wrecked by multiple- Uh, no, don't hit the horse. Don't hit the horse. Don't hit the horse. Don't hit the horse. Just gonna walk backwards from you guys. I said don't hit the horse very nicely. Now my horse is slow. Just, just, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like, um, at this point in the run, I can start farming villagers, but like, should I? Maybe I should. Should we start farming villagers? We'll start farming villagers, I guess. I would massacre anyone for use as bears. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so unenthusiastic. It's like, I, I can't even like really cover up how like ridiculously unenthusiastic I am about um, <laughs> about this part of the Minecraft run. So I literally just killed a <laughs> <sighs> My name is Irish and it's pronounced Keen. I've never heard of Keen O'Neill, but you know what? Now I know my first Keen. You know, there's a joke about Keen wine here somewhere, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna make it. I think you're better than that, Mr. Keen. 
But yeah, why do your horses always die? You know what? My horse is always dying. It leaves me in like a big hole as well. It's it's a whole problem. How hours of sleep did you get tonight? Doesn't look like much, Lumpau. I'll um, I go through this on a regular basis. Uh, ever heard the YouTuber Dream? If so, thoughts says Tristan. Um, no. My thoughts are that his name sounds like a thing I do every night, and every night is a good day. So you know, honestly, um. Thank you very much for all the super chats, the rolling in. Honestly, maybe it is that I'm just like, I, I think recently I've been like extra tired and I don't realize that I try to like be a functional human being, just how like wrecked I am. But, um, rip slow horse, he wasn't fast, but he was loved, uh, he was loyal. Also becoming a member soon, I promise this, Dom Owens. Then you can be loyal like that horse and also like, um, the the, the 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 thing I was trying to say earlier and making a million mistakes at. But no, yeah, it's um recently I've been like sleeping. I, I honestly okay, this is this is my life. I just wake up tired no matter what. So like I just measure like different amounts of tired. And I woke up today being like, I am ready. I'm not gonna be tired at all. And then I've been like wrecked all day. Um <laughs> Cause okay what it is is like if I go to if I I don't, should we talk about my sleep habits this early on? You know, my stream, I'll do it. This is all like, for the sake of the actual main video, this is all be cut. This is just a silly live stream you're all joining me on. You know, I know how to fix tiredness. Famously, something that makes tiredness much better is if we open up a nice bottle. Mmm. This is an American cider, by the way. Like, America's famous for being really bad at producing cider, I think. Like, I can't think of a single other cider that's quite famous from there. But this is a really good one. Would recommend if you live in America. Or don't live in America, because they have it at Weatherspoons, and that's where I learned about it. Took it has as much energy as I do on it. Recently I've been sleeping, says Mario so. <laughs> Okay, let me explain myself. Um, but, um, basically, I've been sleeping, like, slightly earlier on. This is, this is the tragedy. I, I finally been in the UK for a consistent amount of time, enough so that I can be like, I'm gonna have a rigid sleep schedule. And then what's been happening is I try to go to sleep at a certain time. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion on Minecraft RP? Um, Minecraft roleplay is really, really, really Cool, but the opposite of that word. That is my official. No, um, Minecraft roleplay is theoretically a fun idea. Theoretically, it is a easy way to allow people who want to make movies an opportunity to make those movies inside of Minecraft. In the case of how it's actually done on YouTube, you know, that's the theory. That's what I would love to see. Um, what it actually boils down to is people making borderline inappropriate content that they know children will click on that doesn't tend to have any production value or even plot and is like made really cynically. Again, to me, like you can make content for children. You know, I don't do it on this channel, but like you can make content aimed at children or that is suitable for children, that can be good, that can teach them about the world. That can, not even just teaching them about things, but like, can be useful for them to watch or, you know. You, you can do things that are good for kids, or you can do things that are not that. And there's not, most children content is made not because they think kids want to see a thing, it's because they think kids are the easiest audience. Because let's be honest, right? Like, if you're a five-year-old, you can't make intelligent decisions about the world. At least we've decided that as a society, and I'm glad that we have, personally. I mean, I, I agree with society, but like, um, so people have tried to cash in on that. Personally, I don't have the highest of opinions, unless you have good intent to go alongside it, you know? Like, I don't know, that's my kind of theme. Tyler Awesome GMD just tipped $1. Thank you very much, Mr. Tyler Awesome Good. Good. Also, someone tipped $5 earlier. Um, of course, I missed one, two streams. New World Screws Up, Spawns and 12 End Dragons. 
Uh, if only I could have seen it as it happened <laughs> as Mick Assassin. Yeah, it was such a cool little moment. Um, I, like, uh, I wouldn't even say a cool moment, but it was like a really, really weird moment, I would even say. Didn't you already do this channel, says AWC Gamer. I didn't quite finish it, though. I didn't quite finish it. Also, theoretically, Minecraft needs a cave update. Not theoretically, factually, thank you very much. Factually, factually, factually. Um, but yeah, I'm watching the stream while fishing in Minecraft. That's a cool dual use of your time. I like it, actually. I like it. But, um, yeah, uh, the, I think, uh, wait, did I not turn one of my ender pearls into a IF ender? Oh, I have six. Okay, we got six of them. We only need six more. We just have to kill six to 12 to 20 endermen. Easy stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know why my brain's like so frazzled today. I'm sorry. This, when you're live streaming, you know, like, it's weird the variety of like cognitive ability days you have. Today seems to be a low one, so my apologies. Let me let me get my brain working in order. You know, this is why people have rituals. Like rituals are a really cool concept to me, because you know how people are like, I can't work anywhere without my daily coffee, and then you know, like, because the the reality is is like in their brain, coffee is the thing that precedes the work. Therefore, when coffee happens. The work seems like a thing that comes after it. Um, we all have like some kind of mental assumptions of these, like, oh yeah, get home, you know, maybe it's watch a toy cat video, maybe it's, you know, go take a bathroom break, whatever it is, but you uh, you link those two things together. Uh, why do you have an iron axe in your inventory? Oh, I, I attacked a pillager aid. I haven't used it, don't worry. Don't worry, friendo. Don't worry, friendo. I'll, I'll throw it away if it makes you feel better though. Um, but yeah, we did a pillager raid last time. We got a Turn from dying, which I then subsequently lost because high quality. <laughs> For the past two days, I spent 13 to 14 hours and all the ores you can use fortune on. I silk touched and made a 16 by 16 cube of the ores. Now I have too much ore and I don't know what to do with it. It says fat clouty. That's a really cool idea. I love the concept of like taking a bunch of ores and making like an ore cube. I don't know what I would do with an ore cube, but I love the idea. How to cat. Oh, so thank you very much. Verified for coming a cheap cat. Always appreciate it. So, Cat, okay, what's the most attractive American accent? Says Bryce Barnett. Um, honestly, most of them aren't attractive. There's like, I feel like Southern ones have like a stereotype of being like, you know, super innocent ones uh, on, a, on a lady. On, on a guy, it's like, I sound like I'm about five generations of inbred right now. Um, and uh, the other one would probably be like, I guess Midwest, because you can actually understand them fully. Uh, yeah, those bait videos make RP seem like it's inappropriate nonsense, but it's the way young people make friends on Xbox and have fun together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, you can, there are, it's, it's just an art form or a medium like any other, that's a medium that's tainted by the content that's within it. You know, it's sad, it's sad that we make associations like this, but such is the world that we live in. How many people have the $50 a month membership so far, says Electropolo? I think it's two people right now. Two people have access to the exclusive unlisted videos playlist. British accent best. You know, I should have answered that one. You know what the best American accent was? The original American accent before they became an independent country? That's right, bring back the British Empire. That's my high quality opinion. Do you agree life is too short? Uh, I hate the phrase life is too short. Cause it's like, I mean, like too short compared to what? Also thank you Mary Jane for becoming a cheap cat. You know what, I'm just saying, not a coincidence that Mary Jane gets a green icon in exchange for money. Uh, just saying, ha ha ha, funny funny, am I right? High quality internet cat commentary. Um, hi from Iceland, do you recommend doing big projects before rocketing the dragon? I always recommend like, do it in whatever order you care about, but if I was to pick one, if I was, you know, supreme leader of your Minecraft world, then I would probably be like, well, uh, to me, it makes more sense to... Oh, man, let's combine these now. To me, it makes more sense to kill the dragon first, of course. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Your opinions may vary as well. Anyway, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make a bunch more beef because we might be out here for a long time. Also, we're going to make more swords because we're going to need a lot of swords, I feel like. So let's just make a couple of those. Wood sword, wood sword. And let's make an axe as well. You're not sure. There we go. Um... You have 1.3 million subs. I remember when you had uh, 500k. The cool thing about YouTubers, 
So YouTube kind of encourages us in their platform, and it sucks, but like, you know what? One day, this will happen to you, statistically speaking. Uh, YouTube kind of encourages you to disengage from a channel if you don't watch a video or two, you know? It's like, hey, we know she missed that video. You probably want to miss the next one. Like, it's it's them. It's because YouTube cares about your loyalty to their platform, not your loyalty to a YouTuber, which is fair enough. I mean, like, I, 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 I see why they do that. But one of the cool things is, like, all those YouTubers you forget about, for whatever reason, some of them do stop uploading, and, you know, all the YouTubers I don't watch, I've just assumed they've frozen in time since I last saw them, like, oh, I thought you died, man. You, wait, you're, you're around still? Whoa. I actually discovered a guy today, I'm sure he won't mind me saying his name, he's not gonna ever see this, but, uh, a guy I remember from the, um, the 360 Minecraft days, like, he was a way bigger channel than me. He hit 100k, like, months, years before I did. Um, but there was a guy called Frog, and I saw his channel again. And, like, he uploads a video, like, once a year now. And they're, like, entirely unrelated. And he's, like, in his last video, he looked about 17. And I was, like, wait a minute. If he was 17 a year ago, how how young was he back in the Minecraft console days? Uh, I, I had that thought recently. But, um... Oh, yeah, we have to explore new chunks. That's why I've been trying not to retread the same ground here. So that's instead... Get on this horse. Give it a good... There we go. We don't get the height we got before, but I can't be trusted of heights, so it's fine. Are you gonna have a Minnesota again? Um, love you, Andrew, says Dewdrop Page. Thank you very much, my man. My woman, in fact, Dewdrop. Um, as to Venice visiting Minnesota, uh, I really like Minnesota. I would like to have a reason to. I don't know what it would be. Like, you know, usually I can picture like, oh yeah, here's a place I'm going. Here's a place I'd really like to go. Here's a place I'll go as soon as the thing comes right. With Minnesota, it's like, man, love the... I, I'd love to... I think I could live quite happily in Minnesota. Um, Minneapolis, even. But uh, as regards to, like, you know, will I go there again? I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't imagine so. And that's sad. Or maybe it's happy. I'm not sure. Like, maybe, maybe something to do with snow. But then, then you go to Canada for snow. Trade for the Enderpass, says Chunky9. You know what's way more fun than trading, though? Fighting Enderman that you find randomly throughout the night. And you know how you find Enderman? You find random little patches of ground where they might just spawn. But, um, yeah, basically, um, the cool thing about YouTubers is even though, like, it might seem like, oh, yeah, they just kind of, like, in your head, anything you haven't, like, it's like, you know when you see an old friend and they've, like, changed and grown? It shouldn't be a shock to anyone that, like, oh, yeah, people that I used to know are different now than they were back then. Um, because everyone's changing all the time. But you only pay attention to things you can see and that are in your immediate thing. Also, hello gamers, it's cool, cool Pancakes. And come to New Jersey, we have diners. I have been to New Jersey like three or four times now. And I have, in fact, uh, been to a New Jersey diner. So there you go. That's two things for the price of one for your comment, friend. Uh, yeah, no, I, I really like, I really like my time in New Jersey. It's a really weird state to visit. I, uh, I don't, I can't tell you honestly that I'd go if I didn't already, if I didn't know someone who was there. But, interesting state regardless. Yeah, one of the, one of the, like, states that I put on my list of, like, would not live, would visit frequently. It's like the opposite of Minnesota, like, you know what, I wouldn't live there, but I do visit it a lot. Come on, die and give me an ender pearl. Why? Why, game? Why are you so cruel like this? Are you gonna make this into a video? Uh, no. Oh, I probably should not. Yes, uh, by the way. It's gonna take a while, because, like, you know, making things takes a while. Come to Greece, we have gyro. Gyroscopic. That's. I don't know what I'm doing with this. You know, I. I, I wanna come to Greece sometime. I have had. I had gyro recently. Okay, you know, actually, let's insult an entire culture. It's been a while since we've done that. Um. So I I think gyro is a just slightly worse version of kebab, with the one redeeming factor being that my local gyro place, gyros place, um, has like chips in theirs, which kebabs don't. But even then, like, I don't know, every kebab I've had, it's garbage and it's garbage meat and it's garbage everything. But, you know, it's, uh, it, at least this is like a British person's perspective and we don't really do food so amazingly, admittedly, um, outside of London. But like, yeah, kebabs, kebabs where it's at. He's saying it so wrong, says Ariana. Giros? You know what? My friend has like a Greek girlfriend. You know, this is the stupidest thing, but my friend has a Greek girlfriend and he's getting really into Greek culture as a result. So as a result, I have to like be the yang to his yang and I'm pushing back against Greek culture. 
I refuse to learn anything. Also, I just want to say hi. Greetings from Germany. Hello, Shiva 07111. 0711. I don't know where I got the two extra ones from. I hope that it's all going well in Germany. It seems like it from my perspective. Thank you very much for the super chat. It's many, it's it's extra appreciated. By the way, look at this. This is my hell biome. It's just gravel with random patches of grass in between. This is why, this is why biomes shouldn't be designed anymore. I want to say this is one of Minecraft's newest biomes. Because it was a Pocket Edition exclusive that came to Java. So I want to say it's like even newer than the, the that update that changed the, the world. You know, the it's actually called the update that changed the world. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna try and find any Enderman. If you think I missed an Enderman chat, let me know, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Because that's what we do in these live streams. Um, now you should say, uh, sold an entire country yesterday about the US not using the metric system. I was the one who brought it up. Oh, that's not an insult though. That's just like, you know, it's not an insult to tell your friend that, hey, do you know that you're at your shirt's upside down? Upside down? Yeah, you know, upside down. That's that's. That's the type of shirt you can have. Um, well, your friend definitely has it. Uh, okay, let's look at the Enderman. And let's get him under here. Uh, let's do this. It's shocking how many swords we have to go through. Oh man, I hate the zombies have such a big range where they can attack you. Because that guy, he's going to mess me up. Oh god. Okay, it's it's actually worth getting out from it. No enderpearl. Yo, I don't, I don't like enderpearls anyway. I think enderpearls, they're for people with more time than me. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, so basically, I um, thank you very much, Shiva. Thank you very much, Cool Cool Pancakes. And yeah, it's it's really interesting the uh, this notion. It's inside all of us, where something you used to care about uh, doesn't seem like it's important to other people anymore because it's not important to you. Uh, it's it's because um, we're pretty unreliable narratives, right? Not only in our own lives, but also on objective things. Uh, and one of the ways in which we're an unreliable narrator is things that aren't in our immediate frame of reference don't seem important. Because then, if a thing isn't important to us, it's not important to everyone, is what we assume. And, you know, that sounds like a basic thing to say. You might be like, I care about things people all the time. But, I mean, you can tell based on the way politics goes down in pretty much every country that it's like, it's all about what I feel, you know? The groups that I feel are doing well, doing badly. That's what really matters. It's not about facts. It's not about evidence. It's about feelings and about how I have those feelings. Um, you know, I'm, I, need, I should make a whole video on that sometime. People have been asking me for a while to make like a second channel video about American elections and it's like, well, I'm gonna have to preface everything with like, well, you're gonna be offended right here because I'm not gonna say the words that you like. What's your view on communism since Tiger Burn? Look, we've got, we've got like three rules in these streams and one of the rules is just, please don't ask about communism. Communism killed the cat. It's a well-known, well-known fact. Okay, let's just punch the horse once. Hate you having to punch your horse, but sometimes it's a thing you gotta do. And now we're gonna go to the nether, not because I want to, but just because like, to be time efficient, we're just gonna have to start doing it. I wanna get to this end fight already, you know? Something, something, Ben Shapiro. Oh yeah, because something, something, facts don't care about your feelings, right? I mean, it is true, but also, um, that, that doesn't, you know, when you, when you hear something like that, it doesn't immediately then be like, well, and therefore the facts I present you with, because you know, like all facts presented, you know, I, you know what I'm trying to say right here, like, everyone's doing it to some extent, you've just got to acknowledge that you're doing it when you're doing it. Um, and you got to think about why you're doing it and how you're doing it and how you could avoid doing it if you could Rather than being like, well, I totally don't do it. You know, there's a lot of human behaviors where you can be like, I don't ever do this No more fourth channel content. I don't care about the second channel so nobody does either <laughs> I thought you were serious for a bit there. See and that just to show the power The power of the thing. And anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Take our horse which you know, sorry, you're doomed to die in the wasteland now. We're gonna take a new horse back to the village and we're gonna go to the, the never now. Because dealing with dealing with this, oh, this horse sucks. Oh man, this jump speed. I don't understand, like, horses can jump a minimum of 1.5 blocks. I get way more than my fair share of horses that can jump like 1.5 blocks and then bug when they hit the ground. It's really weird. 
Can you say any stupid project to do in my survival world, says Sunglasses? Okay, stupid project. Take an entire biome that's currently grass and make it into dirt. It's actually a lot harder than it sounds because obviously as you remove grass, the grass is going to spread. So you can remove the grass all in one layer and then remove the grass that's on the second one, but like try and do uh, the stuff you want there. Or the other thing you can do is you could like put up like, um, what word am I looking for here? Like you could put up a bunch of, I'm going to find the words. Um, you could put up a bunch of, like, uh, coarse dirt around the dirt that you mine, and then you could expand the boundaries of that. Also, um, forget the YouTube channels, I only care about the high-quality curated Twitter content. You better believe I'm only here for the Twitter content, too. Now, it's funny, actually, the Twitter... I do technically upload videos to Twitter, like, almost as often as one of my channels. You just lost the game, says KD Francisco. Haha! -ha. I... Okay, you know what? Should I rant about like, you're not sure I'll, I'm gonna rant barriers. I meant like a barrier of like a course dirt or something like a big Protection between you and the world You know everyone loves a good barrier but anyway, um Yeah, um the um, The game is something that's always annoyed me because like this uh, honestly let me, let me admit this just falls into the category of things I don't do therefore I think no one should do I think it's a fun little thing you want to do with your friends however when people are like, there is this thing called the game, and you lose the game when you know the game. And it's like, okay, I choose not to play the game. Ha ha, well you lost the game. And it's like, no, I choose not to play. You know, I'm, I'm not consenting to your saying that I'm playing the game right here. And they're like, ha ha, you've lost it even harder. And it's like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I've lost it, that's fine. Ha ha, you lost, and it's like, you know? It's like, a, it's a rejection of, just make a diamond hole and use it on the ground. Yeah, honestly, it wouldn't be that unsmart a technique to hold the grass up and then remove it uh, from the center outwards and then put some form of barrier to stop the thing going around. You lose the game when you play the game. Ah, well, you see, the only winning move is not to make any move at all or whatever the... What is the... Fra so the, the only winning move is... Whatever it is. You know you know the famous quote that I apparently don't. Uh, that's That's a thing. Also, um, I play the game my brothers have done it for years. I need to text some people. <laughs> Again, I mean, it's it's one of those things I admit that, like, I'm just bitter because I don't find enjoyment in it. Uh, but it's like, man, it's it comes up every now It's one of those things because of the nature of it. Like, it comes up every now and then. I'm just like... <laughs> so, opinions on Blitzkrieg, Toy Cats, this guy, Kirk. I, I love the weirdness of the stream chat sometimes. We get a perfect mix of people saying, do you notice me? Random historic questions and show me your feet, Toy Cat. And if that's not beautiful, I don't know what is. What's the story behind Cool Jenny for a good time? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's a song, right? From the 80s, the 90s. The song's title is like, oh, 800, 991. Eight, eight, whatever it is. You know, it's it's a whole thing. My brother put it in his best man toast. <laughs> See, I mean, that, at least that's funny. You know, I'll give I'll give some humor points to that one. Like using a very serious situation to talk about something very much not serious. Sure, you can have some humor points for that. By the way, there's literally nothing in my never value. Uh, do a challenge by using only fists. Personally. I think the fists are a dangerous. What's the man? What is? What is happening here? We we got some zombies like ganging up on this other zombie. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is like two zombies fighting over there. Like oh, and now they're all joined in. <laughs> oh, they're all taking turns. They're like okay, you go for a bit first, then me, and then you know, let's not judge the the the, uh, the zombies and how they live. Also, um, my brother and I watched four Ragnarok several times in a row, and it changed me for the worst. Have you done something like that? I would love to do something ridiculous, like Good watch evening, Mr. a movie over and over again. I'm watching you and the snow gently falling in front of my house. Have a great steam. A great steam? Ha <laughs> ha. Did you know you actually spelled stream wrong? I am an intellectual, you see, and I spotted that. 
Um, I did flush my job while I made a hill into a mushroom biome. It honestly looks pretty cool and only takes a couple of hours. Says Cheese Cat TV. Um, I love the I, my bright my my attention span is like extra dead today. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. That was like that was the most where my brain had like fuzzed out into nothingness before I came back. Beat Minecraft speaking only memes and references. You know, honestly, I hate that, but I bet that would be a popular thing. So, um, man, I'm jealous of you, by the way, Jess Slimmer. Like, I love snow. There's something magical about seeing snowfall. Anywhere in the world I see snow, I'm just, it's just a, it's just a happier place. Like, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a part of my DNA or something like that. But just seeing snow puts me in a real happy place. I'm just like, this is nice. I could do this, but forever, you know? It's really, really, really nice. Um, so anyway, yeah, since it's raining, and since the never sucks, we should go back to the never, it's just the never isn't a fun never. You know what, we're gonna go back to the never. We'll deal with this all later. Um, I'm really, like, losing my- you, you can see my attention span is even, like, shorter in the game today. I'm just, like, flipping back and forth all over the place. I don't get snow because I live in LA. See, people say LA has perfect weather all year round, but that depends on what you think perfect weather is, right? Like, to me, perfect weather isn't the same weather. Because I think cold weather is really nice. But also, it's kind of nice when you can wear, like, anything outside. Like, I think it's nice when you can wear a t-shirt if you want to be a little colder today. A hoodie if you want to be a little warmer. Uh, but if no matter what you wear, you're going to be fine. There's, like, a beauty to that. There's also a beauty to, like, it's really cold, but there's snow everywhere. And there's also a little bit of a beauty to, like, uh, I don't know, like, a thunderstorm. You have an attention span, da da da. Yeah, no, apparently not. Especially not today. So my main goal is just to head this direction. The opposite of the direction we headed in before. Until we find an Earth Fortress. Or an Enderman. I did eat both, but you're not. Beggars can't be choosers, is the phrase people like to say. Um, UK weather, more like grey skies. Did you know it only rains 100 days a year in the UK? Like, it's like 90-something days a year. Um, I guess I just, like, to me that sounds like, oh, that's way less than I expected. But I guess from a LA perspective, that might be like, oh, man. I, like, it always, okay, you know, what? this is one of those things when, like, when I meet Americans who have been to the UK, like, once, they're like, we came to the UK for a week. I don't know why they speak like this, but it came to the UK for a week and it, it rained for two days. I can't believe it. Twice in one week. Can you believe that? Something happening. A normal natural weather phenomenon two times in one week. Why am not your old attempt at this? This is why I probably shouldn't have spent too much time in between the takes. Um, my old attempt, the one from yesterday to last week, um, I'm just continuing it on this week. I should have clarified that better. I think I'm a bit of a wreck today. I think I've been like trying recently to just be like, uh, much more chill about, um, that was nice. I'm trying to be, like, much less demand, like, I'm, I'm much less able to do and say things. And I'm wondering why that is, like, my, maybe what it is, is because I went to lunch with a friend, maybe I'm, like, all socially drained for the day. Usually I save up all my social charisma to use on you, internet. But today, I've used it all up on everyone else, so... All I can say to you is like, hey, do you want to talk about my five favorite flavors of pie? So, you know, number number five on the list, honorable mention, has to go to apple pie. You know, not really a savory pie, but technically speaking, you call it apple pie. So that's pretty good. Um, I like cherry pies too. You know, cherry pies, it's really, really bitter. Not bitter. It's like, it's sharp, I would say. It's like, oh, it attacks you, that cherry pie does. But the flavor definitely delivers alongside it. Like, although an apple pie might be better with custard, if we're talking just the pies by themselves, um, definitely cherry pie beats out the uh, beats out the apple pie. Uh, third place on my list, it's gonna have to go to steak and uh, steak and ale. Like again, even though I think calling it steak pie, this annoys me when people call it like a steak sandwich or a steak pie. It's like that's not steak. Like, steak, you know, it's cooked beef. <laughs> That's what it is. 
Also, do another stream when chat controls what you do, says Mike Violas. I might have to do that. I might have to do that. Uh, my five top pies are none because I don't like pies, says Mercedes. Your pie opinions are wrong and you should feel wrong. Okay, so second second favorite pie. <clears throat> it's going to be like steak and like a bean or something. Like, you know, none of that vegetable pie. Don't don't get vegetables in here. But like, I think steak and kidney bean. Really, really well, actually, it's called steak and kidney. Is it kidney bean or is it like an actual kidney? Steak and kidney pie. Um... Oh no, it's diced kidney. Really, it's not kidney beans? Yeah, they put they put animal kidneys in there. They can't. That's that can't be true. One steak and kidney pie. Uh Tesco. It's gotta be kidney bean. Okay. Steak and kidney short crust pie, 500 grams. Let's let's get the uh filled with tender steak and kidney. Oh no. They put they put animal organs in there? Oh. Wait, where's the... Okay, beef stock comes... Where's the... What's that all about? Man, I have... My day is ruined. Immeasurably. Um, number one pie on my list of favorite pies. It's gotta be a classic chicken and mushroom, you know? Chicken and mushroom, really good combination. Chicken, nice white meat. Goes well with the white sauce they put in there. Mushrooms... Oh, slimy, slippery, delicious. Number one pie of the year, of the day, of the decade even. I do love me a steak. Uh, I do love me a chicken and mushroom pie. Yeah, I'm probably horrified by that steak and kidney thing. I looked this up like forever ago and I found out it was kidney bean. So like, no wait, I think I asked my, I think I asked my mother like, oh, steak and kidney, that's like kidney bean, right? And she's like, yeah, it's kidney bean. Maybe she was joking. Or maybe she's just like, you know, he can learn when he's older. He can, we can hide the truth from now. But yeah, I'm, I don't like that. Did you just whitewash pie? <laughs> I did just whitewash pie. Thank you very much. You're welcome, internet. You know, the only thing pies needed was more white people. And you know, I delivered very well. Uh, Chunky Nine's favorite pie is 3.14159265. Um... So, my day is ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. Also, um, imagine thinking organs taste good. Okay, so, my one exception to this, because, like, I'm actually a little grossed out by the idea of having to eat the organ of an animal, if I could avoid it, at least. One exception, though, is haggis. If you ever go to Scotland, try haggis. Haggis is delightful, and it's made from, like, the bad animal organs. It's like the organs, the yeah, mushroom mushrooms made on it. You're eating mushrooms wrong, friend. I actually used to hate mushrooms when I was younger. I've got the stupidest story about how I came to like mushrooms. When I was four, I tried mushrooms and they were so bad. I was like, please, never again. Never again, sire. Um, and then when I was older, someone's like, I, I think like I was giving my mushrooms to someone like, you know, take these, I can't eat them. And I was like, wait a minute. Why am I so sure I don't like mushrooms? And then I tried the mushrooms, and would you believe it, it was actually pretty good. And then I realized, oh, turns out I don't not like mushroom. I just thought I did. Also, hello from Scotland. Yes, haggis is made from sheep, stomach, lungs, and general waste bits. Right, it's a gross meal, but like the seasoning or whatever. I don't even, I don't even know what's in haggis. Um, please, sire, can I have some more? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um... But no, yeah, so hag haggis is delightful, even though it shouldn't be. Same with black pudding, like, um, I used to think like black, I'm not eating pig's blood, I'm not eating pig's blood, I'm not eating pig's blood, but black pudding is absolutely delightful. It is, uh, would recommend to a friend. Also chat, I'm lost, can someone give me some coordinates? I'm, I'm slightly, I'm getting concerned out here. Maybe if I cross this gap over here, Let's just cross the gap anyway. So please don't fire at me, Gas. Please don't fire at me, Gas. If we could walk real quick, the Gas won't be able to fire at me in time. Oh, Jesus. No, not backwards. Okay. Should be dead right now. That was dumb. That was real dumb. My city is known for meth. Um, I don't care if it's weird that I don't like it. Honestly, if your city is known for meth, you might as well give the meth a try, right? There's no point, there's no point not doing meth just because you think it's not so fun. 
Magic mushrooms are the best mushrooms. Says, gacha magic. Gacha. I'm going to move my window up there. Have you tried out black licorice candy? It tastes horrible and should not exist. I do, in fact, have some uh, black licorice on my desk right now. Got me the uh, Dunder Salts. They look like pebbles and they taste significantly worse. <laughs> like, these things, they are so gross. My fingers smell gross by comparison. Okay, 450.69. Ay, 69, eh? I guess I've gone way past it. Oh, 609? Oh god, everyone's, give, everyone's got different numbers. <laughs> anyway, it seems like it's way this way. I can do that. Bin them, they're turning into an ornament. No, I want to often friends and be like, so this tastes like poison, but one in every 12 people likes it or whatever. You know, give them a fake number, convince them that it might be worthwhile, and then be like, haha, only Swedish people like them. And you know, Swedish people aren't even real people. So, how you like that? Um, yeah, we have to get over there somehow. I guess I maybe went round in a different part of this, like... Yeah, I must have gone over that little rim. 777 seven people watching this and I clicked the live stream, lol, says Ellie. Good news, Ellie, you won a prize. Congratulations. Uh, my first ever e-girlfriend was called, uh, Ellie. I knew it. I have a, I have the most embarrassing story to tell, and I will tell it, because it shows how I am a hero. I sacrifice myself for the greater good, internet. Let me tell you. So, um, I was once, I played this game uh, when I was like 12, maybe 11 actually, like super young. Uh, I played, I played this online game. It's, it's called Habbo Hotel, fun fact. It's not, it's not the man girlfriend, thank God. Um, <laughs> the man girlfriend. No, okay, you know that sounds offensive, but you know, if I, I had a girlfriend who turned out the next day. She was, uh, she was a man character who role played as girl, girls so that they could get furniture. I, I got, I got scammed for furniture once. It was brutal. Okay, you know, you don't, you don't know distrust until you have someone pretend to be your girlfriend in exchange for furniture. You don't know distrust until that happens to you. Okay. Also, where are all the Endermen at? We've seen zero. Um, also, uh, good to see you, Vinny. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I, uh, I found this, I, I don't know how I became friends with some people, but one of these, uh, people was called Chloe, and, like, I don't know why she showed me her real-life picture, but she was, like, very attractive. Um, and I was like, whoa, that's really cool. Me and you, Chloe. Um, but then Chloe introduced me to her friend, um, and, like, I guess I was like too awkward to be like, hey, actually, I I kind of was interested in like this is this is a thing. This is a, a real power. Um, I think that girls actually do have. Like, if if you like introduce your friends to someone, you can basically be like, you can like set it up as like a, if you you know become their girlfriend, that then you can. This this is sounding bad. I'm gonna this is getting like dodgy territory. But what I'm trying to say right here is by accident, I ended up dating a girl's friend, and that girl's friend name was Ellie. And we we loved each other so much until one day we just stopped talking. There wasn't even, there was never a breakup or anything. We just stopped talking one day. <laughs> and I, I think about that a lot to this day. Like that's I I I I don't even know why. I can't even work out what happened. I didn't think in my head like, oh yeah, I I think I still liked her. I don't, I don't know when that went away. Maybe she never came online or something. Maybe she ghosted me, but I just was too polite to see it that way. Maybe I ghosted her, but didn't even realize. I genuinely have no clue what happened there. Um, also, uh, I went to the UK and it didn't rain. It was just insanely windy. It was the strongest and windiest wind. So what you say? Oh, Jesus! What you're saying is we need windier wind. Uh, so, um... Have, oh, Jesus. That my friend in high school. She dumped him an ab before their anniversary. Oh, that's a power play right there. You know, say what you want about your friend's ethics. But real power play being like, Oh, we got an anniversary tomorrow, babe. You excited? I'm excited. I've got a big surprise lined up for you. And he's got like his flowers out. And she's like, okay. So, big surprise. I don't think this is working out anymore. I think, 
you need to just get a, you know, a job. And also, I I was lying when I said that it was cool that you wanted to be a YouTuber when you grew up. Because, you know, that's that's dumb and, dumb and gay. Just like you. So, yeah, that's, you know, actually, I kind of wish... I got, a, I got a high quality plan now for my next year anniversary. Long term girlfriend says lovely Hernandez. You haven't dumped her, so you cheated. Oh, wait, technically speaking. Okay, so I don't know if we ever said we were girlfriend or not. I, it was heavily implied by how much we spoke. Like, I, I'd like to, I don't know if we ever had the talk in that way, but like, it would be weird if we assumed we weren't, in my opinion. But that is technically true. If you never if you never break up with a girl and the girl never breaks up with you you're legally not able to move on so technically speaking yes every every girlfriend I've had since then I've been cheating on my 12 year old e-girlfriend that was no wait, if I was 11 or 12 that was more than half my life ago that's pretty insane I like half my half my life half of it like a full 50 percent and that's bear in mind that in the first half you you know you have to learn how to eat food and not poop yourself. By the way, so yeah, why is it that we found nothing in the the Never today? It's kind of depressing, right? Let's go climb the mountain and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, it's a long time till tomorrow. Well, you know what? I could do productive things like trade with villagers, but instead, what I'd much rather do is answer your questions. And while I while I go, I go to the top of this, because you know what? I feel like a good, I feel like a good. Let's talk with chat session. And you know what makes that way more fun? Being on top of a gravel mountain. Beat Minecraft without blinking. I could beat Minecraft in creative without blinking. I think. Yeah, I reckon I could do that. Pretty easily. I realized I was back in time by 20 seconds. It's yeetus deletus. Yeah, I, it's funny how many super chats I get from people. Not even super chats, but like regular chats as well. Who like don't realize they're delayed. They just kind of are ignoring the rest of the chat. And they're like... It is kind of weird that they're talking about events from the future, but you know what? Let's not think about that too much. Um, we recycling jokes now. Can you beat Minecraft while only shouting profanities in Japanese? Haha. -ha. Funny. See, I'm just going to sit here on my gravel mountain. My snowy gravel mountain. And we're going to do chat and chill. So how's everyone doing tonight, friendos? Internet? Colleagues? Yeah, internet colleagues. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, actually, I'm doing pretty bad. I'm like... In the... I Today I had like a big plan. I It was actually it wasn't a plan. It was like, I'm gonna do... There's a lot of like, stuff I wanna do that's like, unrelated to Minecraft. And then I woke up. I recorded a seed Sunday because I found an amazing seed. And then I had like a... A friend just text me being like, Do you wanna go to the Pizza Hut Unlimited Buffet? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I don't know, it was like a, it's an interesting, oh Jesus. Um, it was a really interesting thing actually. Like, I, I didn't want to do it, but I was like, I tried to, I tried to do my best to be like accommodating towards friends. It's like, it's a positive characteristic I try to have in the world. Cause I hate those people who are like, oh yeah, I can't do your thing. Cause reasons, it's like, nah. This has got to be important to all of us if we want to get this done. Papa John's is better than Pizza Hut. Uh, where I live, Papa John's is only delivery, and P Pizza Hut is a uh, a sit-down place. So they obviously only do the buffet at the sit-down place. What do you think of chocolate spread and a bagel? Says Mech Assassin Nine. I think it's pretty good, Mech Assassin Nine. I had I actually had Nutella bagels recently. I put Kinder Buenos in there too. It was delicious. What are you drinking? Says Ashton Shira. So it's a drink called Angry or Hard. Oh, it's flipped. You can't read it. Angry or Hard. Um, it's naturally gluten-free, as you can see. I'm actually uh, I'm actually gluten intolerant, so I don't drink gluten. Is there any drink that has gluten in it? But yeah, so I, I just went to... I ate pizza for three hours. Because the problem with a buffet... This is something I need to learn about my life. But buffets are both a time and a money commitment. They're not much money, but like it's a big time commitment. Like I might have eaten 15 slices of pizza, but also it took me three hours of my life to go eat. And I don't feel accomplished if I spend three hours of my life eating. <laughs> Call me a heathen for this if you like. Call me a... 
beer has gluten. Beer mm -hmm. really has gluten in it. Does beer have gluten? No, conventional beer is not gluten free. So you can find gluten free beer. No way gluten free beer is a. There are gluten free. You know, this is cool. Cool for celiacs, I guess. Awesome to be you, friends. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't know if it's an inside joke, but it doesn't pronounce orchard. Oh no, yeah, what it is is it's like uh, I've just rubbed out the C. Angry or hard? Angry or hard? No, um. When I first saw this in my local, my local pub, uh, the C had fallen off, so it said angry or hard. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll have an angry or hard. And when you say angry or hard, no one even knows that you've missed out the C. They're just like, oh, you're saying orchard. Angry, and angry or hard, sir. You know, it sounds like you're being posh and fancy. So, um, should we try and get this like as far off the cliff as we can? Just to make people a little anxious. There we go, everyone loves, Everyone loves when you do, do this, right? There we go. You like this chat? <laughs> or do you like this more? I think this is better. Just like slowly finagle your way off the cliff. Um, can you beat Minecraft without talking? That would actually be a big challenge for me. Since the bow is 50% made out of sticks, does it count as a wood weapon? I think chat agreed that it does count as a wood weapon. Rip this horse, I guess. Trust me, the horse is gonna be a-okay. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I went to Pizza I, I went to Pizza Hut today, and I spent 50, I spent three hours and seven pounds eating, like, pretty good pizza. The problem with, the problem with buffet pizza is their incentives are the opposite of yours. Like, one, one of the things, I think I mentioned this in life before, but like, the thing, your head's protecting us from anxiety. I'll sit up to the left here, friends. But, uh, yeah, bow is wood, crossbow's not exactly Ryan Hibbs. But um, the what I like in life is when like the incentives of the people that I'm working with or doing something with or giving money to have the same incentives as me. Uh, for instance, when you go to, when you when you buy dinner at a place, their incentive is that you have a good time that night because then you'll come back or you'll recommend it to your friends. Boom, love that. When you go when you go to one of those like one-off stores that exists once a year at like a big event like Winter Wonderland, there's no such thing as repeat business. They have no incentive in making a good product beyond, oh, I guess it's the right thing to do. I don't want people to do things because it's the right thing to do. I want the, them to do it because it's the logical thing to do for them to achieve more and do better. I want I want my incentives to line up with those of those of the people around me. Same with this live stream, right? Like you know, you can chat and there's a chance I'll respond to the chat. It's a way for you to say something and respond and be with everyone else. It makes like this fun thing sometimes. And also, maybe you get something personally out of it. You can give money to the live stream, which encourages me to do them more frequently. That's why you see some people doing it all the time. They're like, yeah, it's a live stream. You're gonna hear talk about pizza again. Or, you know, like you cannot. The the choice is like you benefit from, you, you benefit from Tipping, whatever you want to call it, because you get the feel good of like supporting everything you care about. But also, if you don't want to, it's like, yeah, it's the option. Like, everything synergizes, you know, synergistic, I guess is what I'm going for. When two things grow bigger, as opposed to just like, if you, if you have adversarial ob objectives, like, if your goal was to make me angry, because some live streamers exist purely to. Yeah, some live streamers purely exist because their fan base hates them. It's like your incentives are me having a bad time, so I create better content for you. But I don't know if that's where I want my incentives. So, yeah. Uh, when you made your USA videos, you were right on all your football knowledge, says Ari and Stimple. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. The video ends when you get hurt, says uh, Avery Fresh Guy. Let me add that to my list of. Uh, List of live stream ideas. The video ends when I get hurt. There we go. Put it on the list. If that's doing from someone else, you have to let me know so I can feel bad about it. What do you think about your Discord service as Electro Polo? I think that 
it's a place for fans to talk to each other. It's wonderful. No, um, I, I find that any community, as it gets bigger, the ability of it to like coherently function seems to be pretty linear as a res like linearly linked to that. Um, I kind of like when it comes to like one to many relationships, right? Like if you're talking about running a country, which is for the good of everyone, then it's important that you uh, have that country work for everyone. When you're talking about like a YouTube channel or like a community, oh, we, we can go back to regular now. Let's hunt for some Enderman, boys and girls. I think there are some that have done that before. We'll add our own twist. The live stream ends when we when we get hurt. Yeah, that, that could be a fun one, right? How far can we go in Minecraft without taking damage? Trying to kill the wither even. Hey, it's a end and the endman's gone. That endman appeared for literally a second, by the way. Where did he go? I hate that. Like you get like you get to see like one enderman a day. And then sometimes the enderman doesn't stick around. So it's like, well, you know, should have should have looked at him while I could have. There we go, he's down there. Okay, oh man, please, please stop. Okay, so I've got to look at the enderman. At the same time, I've got to knock this guy back. Oh Jesus, no, 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 not wrong time, wrong time, wrong time. Now we have to get underneath the, the little pillar that I had over here. Okay, we, oh no, um, I hate how viewpoints change your, oh, it's your board spacing direction. It should like stay where you were before. Okay, so now we stay under here. And we attack repeatedly and we pray nothing else gets in our range. This, this enemy will give us an enderpearl because it's been summoning about one. The game can't! It's torture! It's torture. There's just like so many 50-50s going against me. But such is life. That's why this stream exists. This is just me getting enderpearls at a fun little rate and then complaining every time it doesn't happen. Because one of my favorite things about the internet is it exists ex exclusively as a place for you to complain about when things don't go your way. If Twitter's any indication of that, uh, if, if that, then yeah, that's of course what the internet's for. You saw no enemy, it was a mirage. It was so weird because it appeared for a split second and then vanished. Like, I don't know if it was the same enemy that I just killed or if it was a different one, but the fact that that can just happen for such a short amount of time, it is a little silly beyond belief. So, um, would it be smarter to stream to Twitch and then upload the Twitch streams into small episodes on YouTube? Or would it be smarter to stream on YouTube and upload the streams as a uh, Yosh Monster? Um, I do sometimes consider, like, wouldn't it be cool to have, like, a uh, audience off YouTube gaming? Um, because YouTube controls everything. I, honestly, the only reason, like, all the benefits are in favor of YouTube. The only one that isn't is giving YouTube the power to literally decide my entire livelihood. Uh, and that's a scary concept, but I think YouTube is genuinely indifferent. I think it's just a machine. Uh, the machine doesn't care. The machine doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't even know, honestly. It just does things. And then we hope that it does things in the right way and we try to adjust to the way it does things. Uh, you know, the, the YouTube is like society. Like the rules are pretty clear. You might dislike the rules, but everyone has the same set of rules. You can work within them. Uh, whereas Twitch is like a company hierarchy where it's like it doesn't matter about your objective good or bad It's about who you can impress within the company uh, As a result those people can be good people and promote things based on what they think should be seen more All those people can do things based on who they make personal friends with Sadly a lot of the time it's the latter not the former It's uh, a lot of Twitch is based on who you know at Twitch and how much they like you etc um, whereas YouTube, again, there, there aren't people that YouTube hates. There are people who get banned from YouTube for breaking their rules. But even if you break YouTube rules, it's still going to be like, oh, Enderman. Okay, we can do the same thing we did before. Um, going to stack ourselves up a little bit. Please get out of my way, Enderman. Going to place a few blocks. And now we got ourselves a little place to hide. And then we look at the Enderman. 
and we stand here. And we kill the Enderman. So this one's guaranteed to drop an Enderpearl just because it's been three in a row without a death. If this one doesn't, then I'll, then I'll finish my drink in one and look sad because I don't like the taste of lots of drink at once. But yeah, no, it's going to drop an Enderpearl because just statistics, you know. It's just facts on how these things work. Yeah, everyone pray for a pearl together. Or I'll, I'll chug a half liter off uh, Angry or Hard in a, in a single bout. Hey, see? You just gotta threaten, threaten the world. And then things go okay. So we're now, we're now at seven, I'd like us all to be known. That's pretty good. Like, we have five more to go, which is brutal. But at least it's doable, you know? We're, we're on the second half of the journey. And because now we're, we're doing the trick that... We shouldn't have to do, this shouldn't be how Minecraft works. But sadly, it's way harder to find Enderman in preloaded chunks. You have to find new chunks for um, that to work, which is which is weird to me. I don't know what the reasoning behind it is. But yes, yeah, so we're going to find some new chunks. Uh, I'm going to say behind that mountain is probably a good idea. And then from those chunks, we can decide from there. Also, let's get our bed ready because, again, at night, got to do some things with that. Also, um... YouTube hates Mumkey Jones, says Cheese Cat TV. Don't understand what you're saying, but thank you for the two dollars, friendo. Um, so, stop looking at the Enderman, he's insecure. I mean, honestly, like, Endermen are just, you know, dudes that really don't like being looked at, and they're willing to attack you if you do it wrong. And, like, who can't relate to that, am I right? Who isn't willing to, you know, destroy someone's entire life? Because they get looked at the wrong way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. It's really... It's... Honestly, a horse that doesn't jump is... You are birthday buddies with my son. July 13th oh, is a good day. I mean... Oh! What, how did the horse survive that? Oh, an abandoned wind shaft. That's really cool, actually. First of all, thanks so much, Jess Slimmer. That's actually... That's a pretty cool coincidence. Um, it's... Uh, it's less cool than you figure. You figure it'd be a 1 365. It's more like... One in like 52 or something. Um, but that is really cool that me and your son have the same birthday. But the real question here is what if I am your son? What if you're in a coma right now? You're having this delusion where a man who's suspiciously like your son, probably, I mean, that might be true. Probably, probably bad for you if your son is anything like me. But you're not so that person who suspiciously likes someone you know. You know, is continuously doing insane things in Minecraft that make. Lesson that. By the way, why can't I? Why is the horse make? Like, what? What is? What is going wrong right here? Like, why? <laughs> why is any of this thing? We are playing Minecraft Lego sets. Says Rosie Farrow. Hey, good to see you again, Rosie Farrow. Farrow? Yeah, Rosie Farrow. That's gotta be how you say that one. But anyway, it's good to see you again, uh, Rosie Farrow. Uh, I actually have built a Minecraft Lego set before. I I thought it was pretty cool actually, but I. Don't think it's. I, I think I live stream on Mob Crush, and I don't think it was impre it was as interesting to watch as I imagined it would be. So, yes, n I I might get another Minecraft Lego set, but I probably wouldn't stream it. But you know, anything can happen. The day is young. No, wait, life is young. We're all young. I am young. I mean, those statements were all a little bit true. So yeah, it's daytime again. Oh, I've got to go to sleep again. Oops. Oopsie daisy. We'll remember to do it next time, okay? We'll remember to do it next time. Kill the enemy with axe, they won't teleport as much, says Jack Graham. You gotta learn not to cap so much, Jack Graham. It makes you look angry on the internet. And you might say that's silly. But it is sadly how people um, <laughs> predict these things. Wait, killing them slows them down? I'll have to try that, says MKX90. <laughs> Fun fact. Besting Minecraft with one hand only. Give it a try. I the only reason I don't want to do it is because people would like be like, it's not really one-handed. Like you could look at it and you could probably claim. Like it's really easy to claim anything's fake. It's a lot harder to provide your working outs for such a claim. Oh, I trust. I have emeralds. I can use the emeralds to buy things from the villager, including lapis. Yes. Wait. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. I'll find a new horse too because this horse sucks. And maybe an Enderman, if we're lucky. 
like a, a day enderman. But let's not believe it. Um, beat Minecraft for Fortnite, or just beat Minecraft in one day and night. Oh no, I had this idea for the demo mode of Minecraft. Like, Minecraft is a demo. It lasts for 99 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So, the, the game would be, can you beat Minecraft in 99 minutes? And I genuinely would love that as a challenge. I think it only gives you one seed as well, which is part of the fun. So I'd have to, like, master that seed. Uh, effectively. And I, I think it'd be a lot of fun, personally. Also, let's try and give the brown and white horse a ride. Let's see if this guy can... Because I think he's going to be slower. But I just have to... I have a theory in my head he's jumpier, and he has a bunch more health. Please do a demo drove, man. So, yeah, the only reason I haven't done it is because getting my hands on the demo was, like, harder than I thought it would be. Um, I love the idea as much as everyone else does. I totally would love to. Oh, look at... Oh, man, this is the worst Minecraft horse in the... Like, it goes at this speed, and it jumps at this height. This horse is, like, the parody for what a bad horse is. Let me just show you, by the way. This is the speed of the horse. This is the speed of me running. This, this horse is slower than my run speed and jumps about as high as I do. This is hilariously bad. So we're going to go to the village. We're going to trade the villager. And then in the demo mode, you stay stuck in the store for half an hour, though. Really? You're stuck in the store for half an hour for that? So really, you've got, what, 69 minutes? Haha. -ha. That's a fun thing. Um, so, Kat, what's your favorite challenge you've done? Um... My favorite one, I did pacifism recently. I really like the ending of it because it's going to annoy a lot of people and annoying people is like my middle name. This doesn't even make sense, but you better believe it's my opinion. Do you know, and then a name which is going to make it sound like I'm saying something that I'm not saying. Mike Oxbig. I actually don't know Mike. Oxbig. Should I know? Should I know the mic? Should I know Mr. Oxbig? Um, Mr. M. Oxbig? Moxbig? Yeah, M. Oxbig. That's that's how you say that one. Um, maybe use a camera to show your hand for proof. I don't know. It's like, a, I, I know hand cam is actually a cool thing they use in the Smash community a lot. It's an idea I... Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize he'd attack me. It's an idea I am definitely, in principle, down with. Okay, so I just need this villager to trade in me. Ignore all this stuff, Mr. Villager. What you need in life is me. Okay, let's just break in this way. Hope the villager doesn't do the same. I mean, the zombie. Okay, so we buy a bunch of redstone off this man. And now we can buy lapis, which we need to uh, trade anyway. And then if we want, we can get to ender piles later. So we've got, like, that as a secondary option, if we need it. Would have made sense to do it right after the, uh, the villager, pa the, the pillager raid, but you know what? Let's not think all logically here. Let's not get too confused. So, um, so, okay, have you ever participated in mock trial or mock parliament? I actually haven't. It sounds like a lot of fun. I think I'd enjoy it. Like... I, oh no, what I once did, I did a, um, I, I, I worry I've told the story before, but like it, to this day it annoys me. Um, so, internet, allow me to share one of my more controversial theories. I think that, um, attractive women are less concerned about precise following of the rules to the letter, and less attractive women are more concerned about following even needless rules. They think that the enforcement of rules should be all the time for everyone ever. And my theory to this goes back to many teachers I've had. The again, tell me if this tell me if this lines up with your experience, anyone who's in school right now. So if you're in school, I don't know what percentage of you are gonna be in school, but tell me, are the attractive teachers the nicer ones? And the less attractive teachers the less nice ones. The ones who are more, you know, in it will enforce rules even if they don't make sense just because they're rules and they've got to be enforced. Like, you know, power trippers. Uh, tell me if that lines up with your experience. Because I, I had a lovely lady at Tim Hortons yesterday just give me a, a loyalty card with five stamps and be like, yep, 
you probably had that before. It's fine. Just don't tell anyone. I loved it. I was like, wow. You know, what a wonderful, delightful young lady. Um, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, actually, yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> Attractive ones are nicer. Um, but, yeah, it seems as though um, I don't have attractive teachers, says Status Bowser. Oh, man, you're missing out if you haven't had attractive teachers in school. That's like 90% of the reason to go to a school. Something that, the less attractive ones are mean. Okay, first of all, I find that hilarious that, that everyone else is a, like experienced too. So my theory on this one, and again, this is, this is um, just a theory, but my theory is it's because they have the rules of society enforced on them more often, you know? Whereas if you're perhaps a more attractive lady, a few of those rules get waved in your favor and you're like, oh, what's the harm in waving a rule every now and then? Whereas if, 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 if rules are enforced on you at every opportunity, you're like, life is hell, this is a thing. I was telling my employee to life lessons of Toycat. Anyway, so the reason I mentioned that, so I had a, um, I had a teacher who wasn't very attractive. And that's, that's how you know this story is gonna go bad places. If she was an attractive teacher, she'd be like, ha ha, funny one. Good joke there, Toy Cat. Have five points for being amusing. Um, but uh, basically what I what we did is we did a mock election. So we had to pick different parties and we could run, you know, we'd, we'd run a campaign with the class for that party and then people could vote for who they wanted to. Like a, a mock election, you know? So we all held a mock election. Uh, it, we didn't call it that because we're not Americans. Sorry, Americans. Um, but yes, yeah, so we, we did like, you know, we, we all did some campaigning. We all did some stuff. I, I was selected as my team's like spokesperson. So like I tell everyone else about the policies we had. And um, so every other, every other like team did really boring speeches. Like we think that we should, you know, kill all the old people and but grind their bones into dust or whatever policies children come up with. Um, I actually think it was more boring than that. It was like, we should re raise the retirement age or lower the retirement age. Or, you know, they, they said things like that. Um, you know, like just generic boring stuff. But the, what the, uh, you know, what, what our team did is we figured like, you know what? No one wants to hear that. We've just heard that eight times in a row. Our team was last. And we're like, okay. So here, what my speech said something along the lines of like, hey, this is, I broke the fourth wall. This is a mock election. You can vote for us. We don't really care if you do, though. We don't really care if you don't. Um, you know, we're the, we're the party of not believing in anything. It was like, a, again, the, the whole thing was like ap the apathy party, you know? Like, every other party here, they claim to have things. They're all liars. You know, we're being perfectly honest when we say we don't care in the slightest. And the teacher was super, super, like, rude about the whole thing. I guess, honestly, we were kind of rude. She held us back after school. You know, this was the last lesson of the day. So we're there till like 3.30. So she can talk to us about how rude we were for ruining her plan and how like, um, she's like, think about me and think about how I planned this would go and you made fun of my mock election. Uh, you were so edgy. I mean, yeah, it was, it was, you know, I was 14 at the time or something. Like I, I, I didn't have the effort to not be edgy. Um, but anyway, so uh, she held us back for half an hour and then also gives some form of detention. I forget what it was like a, a, a pretty moderate detention, but I was like, you, and that, that is a thing that again, if you're like, if I picturing every att attractive teacher I had, they'd have been like, ha you know, you, that's who you want to be, be who you want to be. Whereas they're like, no, you will be rigidly enforced with every punishment I have at my disposal. You have personally offended. I feel like, that's why my new theory, right? You mock the mock election, says Ricky Cook. <laughs> I mocked the mock election. That is actually a perfect description. <laughs> that actually is a perfect description of what I did. I mocked the mock election, and that was a step too far for my uh, thing. Funny thing is, part of that existed in life. Oh yeah, if you haven't ever heard of the Monster Raving Loony Party. Loon Loony? Loony, yeah. I was gonna say Luna. There's a party in the UK called the Monster Raving Loony, pa Loony Party. They've got, every policy of theirs is ridiculous. Like, um, where do we stand? We actually don't stand. We we face on a chair sitting backwards. You know, like the cool stance. You, you know the you know the cool sit on a chair. Everyone knows the cool sit. 
Just in case you don't know the cool set, allow me to demonstrate while I get my horse. Teacher sounds like a baby. Right, like that, that's like a real, your teacher had problems. That to me is a teacher that has like ego problems that for some reason they were allowed to enforce on a group of like, you know, unsuspecting teenagers. And it's like, oh, an Edmund immediately. See that point, by the way, we can spend like hours searching loaded chunks or like an hour. And what's gonna be way more effective is just, oh God, we gotta get under that tree fast. I forget this horse doesn't run fast enough. Okay, we're off and we're under. I hurt my horse, but it's better than, oh no, that skeleton's gonna wreck my life. Please stop, please stop, please, please miss over and over again. Oh no, I hate this. Okay, so I can't go out there to, okay. No, no ender pearl, but more bored about this today. Hate you so much. Let's get that way. See, so yeah, we're gonna try and find more endermen. We got a really nice plains biome here, so hopefully I can find a better horse too. Just go to the end. There's loads of endermen there. Man, over my over my years, the one thing I think I would enjoy the most is if there was a a loophole to get to the end, like without having to go through the end portal or without having to fill an end portal. Just for the pure benefit of like, oh yeah, you need to find Enderman. Because the dimension where you need Enderman exists after you've needed to be done killing them, right? Bin fact is better than Buckethead. Oh no, Phantom spawned. Oh. I don't want to go to sleep. But my horse sucks. This horse is so humorously slow. Okay, we're going to sleep. Wait, if we sleep in the bed, is it fine if we don't? Like, go all the way to sleep? Like, is that okay? I guess it's not. But you know, I'm just a guesser. Um, I just had the worst burp in the world, by the way. Like, one one made of, like, pure pain. Try making better tools to kill enemies faster. <laughs> good idea, Quientin Pears. By the way, Quientin, not a very good name. No offense, Quientin. Quinten? Yeah, all I have to do is like spot the phantoms coming. Oh, okay, a second too late there. I guess we can kill them as we go. My nephew knocked up a swim teacher and she got fired even though she was hot. You know what? That's an interesting thing too. Yeah, my... The teacher... Oh, okay. There was a teacher at my school who got fired too for relations with a student. And she was definitely like the most attractive teacher at the school. You know, attractive teachers are just better teachers, except when they sleep with the students, at which point they are worse students. Oh, wait, wait, chat. I have, I have tangential story. People love when I get dunked on in my own stories. So let me tell you a story about the time uh, I got emotionally dunked on in school as it relates to hot teachers. So I like this teacher. I actually, well, not too many details. I'm not gonna share that. Um, Let's kill this enemy real fast. Um, okay, we're gonna just pretend like everything's okay. We're gonna place some blocks around here. Oh, Jesus. Please just die. I'm dealing with other things right now. Oh, okay, that phantom is almost causing me problems, but not quite. Oh God, oh God. I need to get out my end, my wooden sword. Give me the ender pearl. I deserve one. I'm. S is there like, is Minecraft bedrock like bugged when it comes to ender pearl drops? We should do like a scientific study. Is it really 50-50 like it's meant to be? Because I feel like it's not. All my best teachers at school are uglier than the others, says uh, TC. Oh yeah, I'm not saying they, I'm not saying they like, they know things if they, like, I'm not saying attractive teachers know things, I'm just saying they're good at things. X-ray to story time by Heavy X Toy Cat. When Toy Cat reads your comment and it has a spelling mistake and you become sadness. You know what? The trick is, never have spelling mistakes and then you'll never have to become sadness. Life tips of Toy Cat. Um, so, I set an NFC card that directs to this link when used. YouTube slash, don't look at it Toy Cat. Chat, I'm confused, and I, 
I thought he actually meant don't look at it and I was about to click on it. Now I'm realizing maybe it's all a scam. Maybe he does in fact want me to click on it. And if that's the case, then I should not click on it. Help me, I, I don't know what to feel in my... But no, let's, let's, let's give this video a watch. You're not Mech Assassin. You went for a lot of effort to make me watch this video. Uh, oh man, I need to deal with phantoms soon. So let's go to this link. Do wooden weapons affect loot drops? Uh, they shouldn't do. If they do, that'd be like supreme pain. Click on it. I recognize that URL. Okay, you know, I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna hate everyone. Cause I, I again, I hate things that people do. Popular, not popular, existent, non-existent. I hate everything and generally everyone. So let's go ahead, sit under this tree, and let's read that. I come into a cat's talking about hot teachers. I'm honestly not surprised. How's your day, bud? Says uh, Lies from Shook. Uh, my day was pretty good so far. Thank you. Wait, it's YouTube.b, and then you type it. Aha! That gets the. The problem with that, the reason you shouldn't tell me to click on links like that is because now the stream's gonna get copy struck. I'm gonna have to mute that one second of the video. And then they'll. It's. You just gave me like 20 seconds of work to do afterwards. And like. It's funny if, like. It's a fun thing. I get it. Don't don't worry. I, amused. Haha. <laughs> but also, like. You know, like. <laughs> you just. You just gave me work. You're like. It's like. Oh, I've got this funny prank. I'm gonna put toilet paper on your house. And it'll be funny because then there'll be toilet paper on your house. And then it'll be like, ah, oh, I have to clean that off now, man. <laughs> and now I have to go fix the stream. Because you can't play copyright music on a stream. It's like, a, the, you get claimed for any any second of it. Not demonetization. No, it's worse than demonetization. Like, demonetization is just not making money at all in a video. But at least people don't watch ads. This is, there will be ads playing on my content. And that content goes to, like, UMG or whatever. It's, like, way worse. Way worse. Anyway, allow me to finish uh, my story as it involves uh, hot teachers, shall we? Um, so actually, I'm gonna to go to sleep right now. Just like, this, this isn't working for me. Oh no, 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 Phantom, don't kill me, don't kill me. Wait till I wake up. Aha, dealt with. Okay, so I've got at least another three nights of not needing to sleep. You, I went away for 30 minutes, you've gotten one end of it, I swear. I have literally got on one ender pearl. I've killed enough endermen that I should have all of them, but I don't. Nice, says Nathaniel Zonruta. You can get claimed for your own music, says Guitar Squitch. Oh, let me show you a new page. I actually got, uh, YouTube just showed me this recently. I don't know if I meant to show you all of this, so pretend I didn't. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something interesting that I have on YouTube. Um, it's called the copyright uh, infringement section. So, oh god, what's what's attacking me? A baby zombie, maybe? A chicken? Oh, it's a skeleton. So, um, let me show you something interesting because we got time till nighttime anyway. Um, do 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 do. We're gonna go to this stream cap. So there's a section where you can see which uh, videos have stolen some of your content. So this video right here stole 20% of my video. Uh, this video here stole 100%, but that's my second channel. So uh, I stole my own video. Uh, same with this one, 100%. This video is 90% match of mine, but it's by a friend of mine. Uh, this video, someone literally re-uploaded my video. Wait, oh, put myself on here. Someone literally uploaded my video on their channel like and got 4,000 views for it a few years ago. Just like... Literally my video. Sunday, you know? a they made it worse quality to it. Since 360p. Those, those two I don't know how. I don't know how this didn't get removed at all. But anyway. Oh look, I'm streaming right up. now. Should we go watch that? I don't know how. I don't know how this didn't get removed at all. But anyway. Oh, this look, is a good I'm guy. Right you guys should, should wait. That. I'm gonna click like on this stream. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how this didn't get removed. Oh, this look, is a good guy. Right you guys should go wait. That. I'm gonna click like on this stream. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this live stream. This guy is. This guy's got some good content. Oh, look, this is a good guy. Right He's uh... a. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then you can see it happen yeah, in order. But like they're picking this up the ball just the as the other guy's dropping it. Yes, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm loving it. And then he's gonna and put down the ball, and then that guy's gonna pick it up. Like, oh my god, it's possible! I did it! Just oh my god, look at this! Yes. I pick up the bowl, I, I take a drink, I take another drink, it. and then I and put it down, down the bowl. and then the and next guy picks it up. Oh my god, it's possible! I did it! Oh my god, look at this! I pick up the bowl, I take a drink, I take another drink, and then I put it down, and then the next guy picks it up. Oh my god, it's possible! I did it! Oh my god, look at this! I pick up the bowl, I take a drink, I take another drink, and then I put it down, and then the next guy picks it up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, where was I? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> I nailed that so perfectly without even realizing it. Um, so, um, the uh, this is a page where you can see who stole stuff from me, and uh, this is the most viewed video. So, I've got 257k views for stealing 10% of my video. I want to see what they stole from me, though, honestly. Because it looks like it's their their face in their video, right? Uh, I don't know where 10% came from me. But apparently it did. I I don't, I don't see where, you know? The guy has 3.5 million subscribers. This guy... Wait, it's 20% of... Which video did they match before? Crash Course... Hello, I'm IBX. So again, this is oh, original, so I guess I must have had one of the first the Crash just... Course videos on YouTube. Pay, I don't know, you buy so it the looks like is, they matched it's me. It's fine with me, I'm cool with that. Because it's the same rough game, but it says Toy Cat up there. Whatever, whole weird thing. Anyway, hello. Um, big fat. Okay, that's fun poop butt. Um, so I'll make an infinite repeating loop of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see myself. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that internet. That was delightful, was it not? Should we deal with some bees? Bees are fun, right? Toy Cat, kind of cute doe, says Rory. You know, why doe? Why does it have to be doe? Why can't it be toy cat kind of cute? And that seems logical because he's a great guy. And you know what? Great guys are attractive. And we took out only have $5 left in Google Play. The trick is save it for a rainy day and or give it to me right now. Because you know what? If, if you give me money, I'll use it for unlimited pizza buffets. This is a fact we know. You know, people are gonna lie to you about where your money's going. Let's say, say it's going to a bush fire when really it's going to their fire and their bush. But nah, this is, your money goes. Okay, thank God we got a high jumping horse that at least goes the same pace as me running. Time to shake your tail like that funny cat do. So cat is cute, no homo. See, I, the phrase no homo, you know what, I'm just saying, why can't we be like, yeah, Toy Cat kind of cute, a little bit homo, you know? Like, I I think that, I think that, that if the world be a better place, if everyone's like, hey, we're all the tiniest bit homo, not much, but a little bit, and in that way, you're that. Hello, sorry I'm late, have a good stream, says Day Moosley. Good to see you again. Yeah, buddy, slow AF. Show me the pineapple juice. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try and like, back out this video and find my live stream analytics again. I, I lost them for a while. I really wanna watch, I wanna watch me, watching me, watching me drink a beer and passing it. Cause I, I, I well, a cider I should say. Cause that was quite beautiful, wasn't it? Anyway, so I'm just gonna, I'm doing more, like during the day, I don't really care about what I do. So I'm gonna go big and I'm gonna answer your questions. This is Soy Cat hangs out with chat cause I don't care about the alternatives. Can you please tell your story, says Alex Zarowski. Okay, let me tell you about the time. I basically got emotionally dunked on. So there was a girl in one of my classes. Um, when I first met her, I was supremely sarcastic to her. Like, to the level where I, I, I wouldn't like me if I was her. Um, but she thought it was funny or something along those lines. Uh, I'm gonna just move myself a bit to the left. Uh, and I was, I, I thought she was like pretty attractive. I was like, wow, can't believe she likes me. And she, it, you know, she's like a real looking person right there. And so we become really good friends uh, to the level where like, I'm like, oh, wow, we're, we're really close as people like to say it to be uh, thingy. And um, 
Anyway, so I asked the girl out and then like I guess what happens is like uh, She doesn't understand that I'm she did she didn't realize I asked her out So when I when she just moved on the conversation to something else, I was like You know what? mission failed. We'll get him next time, you know um, so the like we spend the next few years talking like she's just a good friend and she basically like hints over and over again there's this guy I like um, and I really want to tell him, but I just don't know how. And I'm like, well, you know, do you know this guy? Yes. I spend, you know, this number of hours, you know, like, I, I see him every now and then in real life, but mostly I talk to him via text. And I was like, that's kind of fuss, you know, we have one class together, otherwise we talk exclusively via text. Um, so, this girl and I, uh, she's like, she's doing that thing that everyone does, and it's like such a generic stereotype where it's like, I'm really nervous about telling you how I feel, so I'm gonna do it really slowly, right? And she's like, oh yeah, the guy, it's someone I know. I think you know him. You know, I think you know him really well, actually. Like, hints nonstop, like, this is me. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I, can, I, I can't tell you from their perspective, but I think you should ask. It's like, but I'm kind of worried about it. I'm worried, I'm worried what people will think. And I'm like, why do you care what people think, you know? Do things that you want to do. And she's like, you know, Andrew, you've convinced me. And then, bam, it was our teacher for PE or something along those lines. <laughs> so all that advice of like, ask out the dude. As soon as she tells me, I'm like, I don't want to be the guy who's like, walking it back. I, I, I actually thought she was a good friend at this point. I, I don't want to be the guy who walks it back. But also I was like, yeah, that's really great. Ask out the teacher, see how that one goes for you. And supposedly she did ask out the teacher. And apparently that's not how... That one's meant to go. Um. <laughs> See, Toy Cat, big fails. Hope you all enjoy them. But no, I honestly, um, man, my hands are still so destroyed, by the way. Like, look at my, it's funny, like, give a story about a uh, girl going so wrong, then immediately be like, my hands are destroyed. You see it? It's wonderful, right? Also, um, what do you think people who leave reviews for trying the products? It's Macy Rose Brownlow. They're destroying society, bit by bit. People who comment, okay, you know, people who leave reviews saying like, product arrived on time, five out of five. No, that's not, you're reviewing the wrong bit. You don't understand how Amazon works, friend. Hi, Andrew, are you gonna demo chicken block? Hi. No idea what you mean by demo chicken block, but yes, no, maybe. I don't know, can you repeat the question? God damn the pervy pe teacher. But no, uh, she asked out the teacher, and the teacher said no, because the teacher was a teacher, and she was a student. And that's the unsuccessful side of that one. No, because here's the funny thing, right? That, obviously the other teacher got fired, but like, I had a really cute uh, dance teacher that slept with one of her students and got fired as a result. But like, that, like, to me was like, oh, that's nice. Is it, it is totally weird when you reverse the genders. Like, it's a, it's a double standard society has. But like, you know, hot, attractive female teacher sleeps with a male student. Or he got some, you know, uh, attractive male teacher sleeps with a female student. Ooh, it's a bit creepy. Uh, you know, the fact that they were even they, they were talking outside of his work, that's like hugely inappropriate, right? Um, anyway, on, on behalf of, on behalf of this girl who way later, like tried to, cause she ended up with a guy for like years that she didn't like, as best I could tell. Like, she was like, oh yeah, he's really cool, except he never sees me uh, And You know, actually, I, I realized, like, you know, this this girl's complained about, like, two, <laughs> two, two boyfriends, or two two guys at this point, but um, I am basically the, 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 the confidant. But, um, no, yeah, she's like, oh yeah, he's like, never this, never that, etc., etc. And I'm thinking of breaking up with him. And, like, I, I always hate that when, like, I, I know, like, in theory, it's probably a nice move of, like, I just need to speak to someone about this. But, like, if, if someone speaks to you about, like, I'm thinking of breaking up with someone, it's like, don't do it based on my recommendation. Like, <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to gracefully fall from your relationship into another one, which is a thing that people try to do, but that's messed up. That's not okay either, right? Like, I actually... This, this is, like, a surprisingly common thing, right? Like, just like, well... You know... Also, why does it keep raining at night? Rain in the day game... Be polite. So we have to go find a desert. Otherwise, this day is worthless as well. Oh, I'm really big still. Sorry. 
Um, I'm big. Now I'm small. Much better. So we can look in all the caves if we want, but realistically speaking, finding Enderman is just going to be real hard. So instead, let's go find a desert. Or a savanna. Yeah, we haven't found a single desert or savanna in this run. Those biomes are what we need more than anything right now. Um, like the fact that you stuck by her only as a friend. Um, says Kathleen Thatch. Oh, no, yeah, I, 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 I thought she was an amusing enough person. I, for the most part, and even, but even then it's like, there's like a weird element of something in there. But yeah, I had a, I had a female friend for a while. That was fun. That was like a addition to the bunch. You know her well. She's finally back to kick some tail. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, tell us about your Sri Lankan heritage. You probably mentioned in previous videos. Haven't been that one yet. Mary Jane says the doomsday clock should move from 126 midnight to 100. Uh, Thoughts and impending apocalypse. Um, it's good that people are concerned on the, at high levels, but I'm I'm not concerned. I don't I don't think doomsday is coming. Uh, I think in reality, uh, like it's easy to see risk of like what I think is happening right now is like. There is a country in the Middle East. Don't know if you guys have heard of it, but you know I'm not going to mention it. Not going to name drop it. Not going to start drama with Iran right here. But um, like basically the world is just trying to poke them until they do something they shouldn't, so that the world can do things they shouldn't. Also, wait, wait, Enderman, Enderman. I just realized we passed one. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, we're going to follow the Enderman around and hope he drops an Enderman. Wait, did you hear that? I heard death. No, I didn't. So we're going to follow the sparkles around. We're going to look for the Enderman that way. Based on the sparkles alone. Where's the Enderman at? Did you see him, Internet? I don't see him. Okay, you know what? I give up. Finding Enderman. We're just going to have to find a desert or something. If we go far enough, we will find a desert. But yeah, that's my... Uh, but I think, um, I don't know, no, the, the clock to midnight's like nuclear war, right? I think nuclear war seems like not the plan. But you know what? I am just a humble internet cat. I don't know the, I don't, like, the weirdest bit is even if you live in the US, you have no idea what your leader is trying to do. Despite the fact that it could be a life or death decision for millions. Like, because we definitely know it's not what's happening on the surface, right? There's definitely some lower level games being played. But because we don't know what the risks and the stakes of that game is. It's impossible to make an informed decision about, like, so is that smart? Is that not? Probably not, but I mean, it. whatever. It's a whole thing. It's the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. I thought the Clock's Midnight was about irreversible climate change. Here's the thing about climate change. One, climate change is measured from the perspective of the, uh, like, everyone's always like, oh, climate change is irreversible. One, I mean, that was true before. Two, it's only a problem when it becomes badly irreversible. When it becomes irreversible with harmful effects. Like, if we made the planet a degree hotter, a lot of animals will die. A lot of sea levels will rise probably in. But you know what? It's like, okay, it's a thing. There's like a level... I think we've got to, like, communicate to the public, like, these are the levels we can pick between. Let's have, like, a global referenda, like, it's all we're committing to, boys. Two degrees, three degrees, four degrees. We can go mad men and go five degrees. Then people will die, as well as most animals, as well as this. But it'd be nice to have the choice for once, you know? It'd be nice to be like, my party don't dab, we just Boris bot. Uh, yeah, the clock to midnight is about climate change. No, it's not. Wait, the clock to midnight. One sec. I think you are mistaken. The Doomsday Clock is a symbol which represents the likelihood of glo man-made global catastrophe. Okay, the clock's original setting was 7 minutes to midnight. It's been set backwards and forwards 23 times since then. So the Doomsday Clock, uh, it's from the... Oh, Jesus! What just hit me? Oh, Creeper. So, um... 
By the way, I hate this challenge so much. Should we just give up on it? Do you want to just like... Do you want to just like chill? Just pretend, just pretend we didn't start this. Okay, this horse has speed and it's got jump. It doesn't have health, but it was all about me. It was originally about nuclear war. Receptions become a university recognized me metaphor. The latest change was in 2020. The failure of world leaders to deal with uh, increasingly likely threats of nuclear war, such as the end of intermediate range nuclear forces treaty. So, oh yeah, because, oh, the US and uh, Russia are about to sign a, a big deal on limiting uh, a certain type of weapon. But then they didn't they didn't agree on doing it. So it's like, ah, oh, sorry about that one, friends. You thought the world could be a place with fewer nuclear weapons? Good joke. Haha. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch at all. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and trade for Enderpals. I've just decided, you know, this this game is being silly. Let's just let's just do it that way. Hi, donate to your fish streams go. Huge fans is later clouds. Good to see you here, man. How'd you get the enchanting table? I got it from um, loot that I found in a uh, blacksmith chest. I was like, this is exactly enough to make an enchanting table. And we decided to do it just because it was silly enough that I figured, why not? And if that's not a good reason to do stuff, I don't know what is. So farmer, buy my wheat from me. Okay, I'm not gonna buy my wheat from me. I'll force you to buy wheat from me. Yeah, how are you gonna react to this, Mr. Mr. Villager dude? I have such a problem with, like, mess in my inventory. I got another iron axe again, actually. How weird. Okay, so... Break it. Where'd the villager go, actually? He's gone. Can you come back? Did you go in this house? I feel like you must have. Nope, that's a butcher. We can show rabbit in exchange for... It's a pretty good deal, right? It's a pretty good deal indeed. Anyway, I'm trying to find the... Where did the where did the farmer go? Chat, does anyone anyone see him? Where'd you go? You should pet get a pet cat to go of you. I feel like getting a pet cat just because it feels like it would fit Oh! Armor. Just because it fits with me on like an emotional level. Probably a bad life decision. Oh! Let's put some uh lapis down, sure. You know, why not? Let's dye my outfit blue. Yeah, look at this. High quality dyeing and stuff with Toy Cat. Yeah, look at my blue armor chat. I might not be able to have diamonds, but I can have the second best thing about diamond. The fact that it's blue. I probably could have made it light blue if I used bone mill. But yeah, let's let's do this. Let's find me a village. Chat, do I did I did I not have a village earlier? I feel like Where'd he go? Dying the water blue quality skills. Warm heart brand diamond armor. <laughs> That's totally this is very this is very much off brand diamond armor. I'll admit. I'll admit that freely as anyone else. Exists solely to be very off brand. But that's fine. Do I have a stack of lever or is that just it? Nope, just five. He became a butcher. He became the butcher. Oh, so I've gotta I've gotta make him unbecome the butcher by removing his um Moving his butcher, butchery thing. No butching for you, friend. Okay, pro tip when doing that, make sure you have... Okay, there we go, farmer villager. And now he's buying wheat. I take the wheat from this very village. And I set it right back to him. How do I only get 54 wheat from... Oh, whatever, just... Here you go, friend, where are you? You gotta buy some wheat from me. There you are. Oh, let's take the wheat from the village, too. Always do this. Never use your sword to do it. Very bad idea. But we'll give him a bunch of seeds. Like, here you go, friend. Replant those. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll sell you back your crops. It is beautiful that farmers do help you sell their own crops back to them. It is the one, a modern beauty of the world. It was a different village. Orange Square. Orange Square, you say? Orange Square. Only for a second. You guys haven't earned a, a, a longer period of Orange Square. So yeah, there's no more hay bales in this village, which is sad. Like, all these villages, but no hay bales. Because that would make my life significantly easier. But I do have five emeralds, which is enough to buy a my offender. So let's try and find other dudes who are willing to buy things. Because we'll do this in the background, sure. 
But let's let's see what you'll buy. Actually, wait, this is the same dude. Only wants wrong flash. What will you buy, Mister Dying Man? Oh, you want leather? It's not the best trade in the world. Because I kind of don't want to make it. Let's start a cow farm. And then let's just keep sending him leather. That's my high quality idea. You know what, should we do the rest of this run by just trading? This nighttime thing is just working poorly for me. So instead, we'll trade the whole way. Yeah, that sounds like a fun thing to me. Let's do it. Thank you, very appreciated. So we'll go around, we'll kill cows. And then if we kill enough cows, we get some stuff. Guess what, chat? It's a cow killing stream now. Um, how can we earn more orange square viewing time? You know, chat, when you're... When we're all, uh, you know, much better about this all, you know what? When we're all more reasonable people, then we'll earn some more orange square time. Make one onto a farmer for easy melons and wheat to make into emeralds, maybe. So I only need now, at this point, five more eye offenders. So that means I need 25 emeralds plus whatever it takes to buy up to level four. Let's say like 30 emeralds and it goes down by five every time I kill an enderman. Let's say I get two eye offenders that way. So I need roughly 21 emeralds. I have melons farming, but in a different village. Do I have a hoe? I don't have a hoe. What it might be smart to do is it might be smart to like start a farm exclusively Exclusively for wheat here. Yeah, actually, you know, yeah, let's just start. A ch oh, there's pumpkins over there. That is the level two trade we need later. We passed pumpkins earlier as well, so that's like another emerald. We're gonna start a giant wheat farm, and the way we're gonna do it is just by punching things as we pass them. So let's do this. Also, I, I picked up bread earlier, but I didn't. Oh, I've still got the giant stack of bread. I just haven't been using it. But yeah, let's um, break some pumpkins. Oh, chat. I have a video coming soon. Just real quick. Survey in the chat. No no context on this one. Um, wait, what time in the stream is this? We're at an hour and 47-ish minutes. Okay, so live chat. I just found pumpkins. What do you think is rarer in Minecraft? Pumpkins or diamond? Type in the chat now which you think is rarer. The pumpkin or the diamond ore? Just, just type one of those two things. This will be part of a video, so just let me know which you think is which. Which is rarer? Which which do you find more up in a Minecraft world? The pumpkins or the diamonds? Orange square, <laughs> says David Solomana. Uh, we've got about 90% of people saying pumpkins. We're about 10% of people saying diamonds. Uh, I wonder why you think pumpkins rare. Of course the diamonds rare. It's diamonds, yeah. Yeah, idiots. Um, no. Yeah, anyway, ignore, ignore. Ignore the concept. Ignore everything else about this. Pumpkins are farmable, so diamonds. Uh, that's technically true too, right? That's technically a factor in this one. Yeah, we're just gonna run around and get all of the... All of the seeds we can. Don't care, says Mo Awesome Plays. Ooh. You know, we got a rebel over here. Too, too edgy to care about rarities. Yeah, I might use that in a video. I might not. Too many of you are correct for me to prove my point of it. But uh, I remember you said pumpkins were rare in a seed Sunday. Yeah, yeah, no, it's one of my favorite little niche Minecraft facts, I guess. Pumpkins have the lowest spawn rate. Yeah, pumpkins Pumpkins are so much rarer. So much rarer. Um, there are diamonds in almost every chunk, and pumpkins have to be tracked down. Yeah, no, the, the reason... You know, no, the, I'm not spoiling a future video, but I'll say fun facts, everyone. So, yeah, we're going to try and get a lot of... I should have given my seeds to that villager in retrospect, given how much challenge we're getting more of these. I've heard lapis is rarer than diamonds. Uh, no, lapis is only slightly less rare than diamonds. But it feels rarer than diamonds if you need it. Because it feels like it should be way less rare than diamonds. Like, it's rarer than what you feel it is. And that affects your judgment of how rare it actually is. 
if that makes any sense. If it does make any sense, then Puga Paluga Muba Kuga. Our pumpkin's rarer than bone blocks. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, bone blocks are rarer, naturally speaking, than either of those things. There's always one vein of diamond every chunk, but I could be wrong. Yeah, no, it's um, it's something like two point something blocks on average per chunk, but it's not every chunk has diamonds in. It's every chunk statistically has diamonds in. But some chunks have more, some chunks have less. So I can't make a feudalism Minecraft server uh, number three. I've done feudalism before in a Minecraft server. That sounds like a fun concept. Uh, I think mo most Minecraft servers do operate on the feudalistic fundamentals. Like, you do a thing, and then, you know, like... Instead of ch in controlling everyone directly, you control a bunch of dudes who have the power to con Like, think about this chat. This chat operates on like a vaguely feudalistic system. Actually, wait, my Discord server. In my Discord server, we have a bunch of people who are mods. They have the power to do everything. And they can promote helpfuls who have the power to do like certain things like remove offensive stuff, etc. And they have power over the, the public. And obviously, I have power over the entire system. Is this the same attempt from an hour ago, says Isaac Tor? It might be the same attempt, depending on the tone of your question. Okay, so we're gonna just start a farm over here, where no one expects it. Where I hope people- Actually, oh, why do, why do we just make- Oh, I hate everything. Okay, so just kill this zombie. I don't know how he's still alive. Uh, chop the wood. Please don't come- Oh, it comes back as awful wood. Oh god, I- Bad, not good. Oh man, oh, just- Turn into wood for me, thank you. There we go. Now let's make a crafting table. I guess let's make two crafting tables. Can't do that at the same time, sure. <laughs> Place the crafting table down. I just wanna make a hoe, okay. I've gotta hoe my ground before it's too late. Where's the wooden, oh God, okay, I need this. Make a wooden hoe, now my inventory's full again because life is pain. Then switch these out. Let's get going. Let's just hold some ground, get some wheat in the ground real fast. I want to see if wheat can grow overnight, because I don't believe it's... I, I know, I've, I've heard conflicting sources. So we're going to do a little test right here, just to confirm something. Because again, bedrock's so different. There's so many facts that seem like they're true, are true for Java, but aren't true for bedrock. So let's let's confirm one of the big ones by leaving some wheat overnight. Although I'll be in different chunks, so it's not a fair comparison, but still. One of these wheats should grow some amount overnight. You would otherwise, otherwise suspect. But whether it happens or not, it's going to be a big little fun one. So there we go. Plenty of places for wheat seeds. And I got a wheat farm going. Okay, so... Oh, also, we have to watch out for the village being destroyed by zombies overnight. Looks like I probably should have watched out earlier. So let's find... Oh, God. This, this place is already dead, isn't it? <laughs> There's no villager up here. Oh god. Chat, where was my villager the last time I saw him? Because if you give him doors, oh, there we go. He's sleeping in a bed, it looks like. You the farmer? You're not a farmer. You're a leather worker. Probably important to keep him alive too, but like not as important. Uh, nope, that's just a thing. Where are all the villagers at? I'm opening their doors, which is bad for their safety. That's a baby villager. Uh, iron golem's in the whole wrong place. Just please get out of my way. Got things to be doing. Oh, we didn't get the uh, bread from this place. How oh, nice. And some boots. What a wonderful find. Oh, we can dunk the boots in the blue if we want to. I don't right now. I just want to... Oh, we got a bow. I think we probably got a bow earlier, but like... Another bow. Okay, here's my farming village. No, not my farming villager. Uh, over here? Hey, it's my... Okay, swamp farming villager. Destroy the door on the house. Oh wait, we'll, we'll get the, we'll go get the uh, thing from it first, or like a different one. We're gonna grab this and put it inside of his house. Easy. So, cat, what biome do you think is easiest? I think a mesa or a jungle. Uh, a plains biome because it has so many free things given to you. That's my official theory. Okay, so where's? The oh, I didn't pick up the. Go do that, and we're good. You have to go now. You have to go back for the arrows. I have such an inventory management problem. 
Like, do you know what my biggest, like, hoarding... Like, I, I have just such an issue is what I'm saying right here. Now you know. As if you didn't already. Now you are aware. I have issues in Minecraft with hoarding. Fun fact. Okay, let's do this. Let's get my horse. Let's go for a ride into new territory. And let's find us an end. Oh, Enderman already. There we go. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about. Look him in the eyes. Come look at me, Enderman. Oh, jeez. What? What? <laughs> What was that hit detection right there? So, he's running around the tree trying to get me. But he can't get me. Because he'll never be as fast as a bee needs to be. As a tree needs to be. There we go. Rhyming all the time. Oh, no ender pearl. I know it's not true. But that thing about like maybe wood tools is affecting my drop rate. It just feels so true right now. It just feels like brutally true. I've been streaming for two hours and we've gotten one ender pearl. How is that possible? How is that a real fact? <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. He picked up a flower, says uh, Mary Jane. That was pretty beautiful. Money for a chest, says David Solomon. A, a Minecraft chest to buy a real life chest? David Solomano, you gotta be more precise. Money for a chest. Oh, a chest to put my stuff in in Minecraft because I have inventory management problems. Yes, <laughs> I should do that, shouldn't I? I I don't know why. I ha oh, there's another village. Perfect. Hey, more ha more hay bales, more free hay, which means more ender pearls. Finding a village is worth about like three emeralds, which is like three fifths of a pearl. So that's kind of beautiful. Are you going to condense this whole challenge into one video? You better believe I am. You better believe I am. Uh, you can become the first streamer with looting three wooden swords, says uh, Daniel um, Waters. Yeah, if I could find looting three in the stronghold, which I probably should have checked for in retrospect. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of moves we should have made in retrospect. A lot of moves we could have made. But, oh, look at all the pumpkins. Oh, this is, this is heaven. This is, oh, plus the, plus the, uh, the other village. Oh, so many pumpkins. So many pumpkins. I don't even care about Enderman anymore. This is, this is my life now. I'm a farming. I'm a farmer. I'm not a farming yet. One day I'll be a farming. I haven't, I haven't made it there yet. We'll come back for these pumpkins just because, like, hassle. Oh, we have to sleep tonight. We have to remember. As... Chat, when it becomes almost daytime, remind me to sleep. Very important. Very important. Orange pumpkin, Shenandoah River. Um, it would be right at spawn. What would be right at spawn? Oh, more pumpkins. This is, this is a good seed for pumpkins, <laughs> which is now my goal, because the pumpkin farm wasn't going well, so we're just gonna steal pumpkins from everywhere. But while we look for things like this, we're gonna mostly focus on other things. Remember to sleep at almost daytime. See, thank you, thank you for that high quality reminder, Mercedes. <laughs> but no, um, my real goal here is find Enderman and get the morning going. So need mending for the wooden sword. I would love to be the. I would love to have a full gear, full set of like mending armor. Mending like um, lever armor and like mending wooden tools. There'd be something that's like extra cool about that, in my opinion. It'd be stupid, but it'd be cool to like do that in legit survival, right? I think so, personally. Should we go on a fishing stream, like fish for 24 hours, get mending five times, and just use it on lever armor? Because I don't think you can get it on lever armor without finding the book. And I think the best way to find the... Oh, no, villagers. Villagers. We'd use villagers for it. For that many. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should do it sometime. The quest for a mending set of lever armor. High quality idea. I'm coming up with right now. So, yeah, the lack of Enderman is depressing. But, you know what? I'm used to it now. Oh, we're heading back to these mountains. That's why it's... That's what's happening. We've been here before. So, they're already loaded chunks. And Enderman don't seem to spawn into already loaded chunks because 
Minecraft logic, you know. <laughs> Those zombies were very in sync. Gotta love a in sync crew of zombies. Please show me the pineapple juice and drink the pineapple juice. Please, I beg you, says Yeetus Deletus. Um. <laughs> yes, sure. Would love to do that for you. Maybe? Question mark. Sleep. Oh, thank you. Thank you, chat. You saved me. 100% forgot. I was like, I'll never forget this. And then entirely forgot it. Not many seconds later. Good thing I have you, chat. Chat, you are my, you are my heroes. You are my muse and my confidant. My lovers and my brothers. All at the same time. It's a bit of an incestuous relationship we've got going on, but that's fine. You'll need six many books. You'll need one to mend the hole in your heart, says Carl <laughs> Sorensen. <laughs> High quality. Underrated comment. Underrated comment. Um, sleep is for the week. Sleep is for the week. But, like, spelt with two E's. Because you can, you can use the weekend for you, and you can sleep during the week, because... That's that's work time or school time or whatever. There you go. Just reversed your phrase to make sense. <laughs> so, but I'm a girl. Am I still a brother? Says SGL. See, first of all, there's no such thing as women on the internet. You know, just you know, fun fact. Second thing is uh, yes, you're still a brother. A brother from another gender. A bender from another... Sh no. No, no, no. Um, angry or hard can't be a big juice box, though. That is that is the big sadness about the, uh, the, pineapple, the difference between this and the pineapple juice. My angry or hard drink. Which is it, by the way? Is it angry or is it hard? They should make their mind up. But this one can't be... I can't make this look like a giant juice box. Oh, God, I hate these villagers so much. Okay, guess I ain't a woman. You are not a woman, my misophone can confirm, and, and man. Women don't exist, says Dee Moodley. It's just, you know, I, I I know I know everyone knows this already, but it's just, you know, for new people on the stream, it's just got to be important to let them know the sad truth that all women are off the internet. I don't know where they are. I hear they have their own version of the internet somewhere, but they're not on they're not on my internet. That is. Why can't I pick up this pumpkin, by the way? Oh, because it's carved for some reason. Huh. What should I drop for it? The crossbow? I'm not out crossbows anyway. Oh, there's a blacksmith here. The blacksmith's gonna contain freebies. Or nothing. Or absolutely nothing. So let's place the dandelion down to make a free spot. There could be a second blacksmith though. That's always possible. Always worth keeping up. Man, the number of pumpkins we're gonna end up with today. It's gonna be pretty intense. So I'm not here. It's true, I'm a bot. You're a Russian hacker designed to destabilize democracy is what you are. And you know, that's fine. Everyone's in your hearts. We're all Russian hackers. If you think about it. If you really sit and you rest. And no one died to give you that flower since Mary Jane. <laughs> you know, you know. By the way, Mary Jane, are you actually called Mary Jane? What's your, what's the story with your username? I've been wondering it this whole time. And you know, what? we've got time. We've got so much time to talk about usernames. So tell me about yours. What's the scoop? What's the sitch? What's that? What's hacks over there? See, I'm, I'm talking in relatable terms, so I get an answer. Um, my grandma calls pumpkins pumpkins, and it's adorable. You know what? I'm just saying. Back in my day, speech impediments and miscorrect. You know, actually, I can't, I'm not one to talk about miscorrect pronunciation of words. <laughs> okay, second chest. Iron leggings, which I can totally take advantage of. And by that, I mean do nothing with. So yeah, there's no more freebies in this village. There might be like a free chest somewhere. Hey, but it's got a map in there. And some saplings that I don't really want. We're going to hope there's some free emeralds though, because it's always worth trying, in my opinion. You never know. Life is like a box of onions. You never know what you'll find inside. Some pumpkin seeds, which... Theoretically have value, but not really. And also more breads. But... Actually, I'll take the I'll take the purple bed instead of the white bed. It's a prettier type of bed, in my opinion. Add some colour to my, my hot bar, too. 
Who doesn't want to do that? My name is Taylor. I chose a dumb false name when I was 12 and I'm stuck with it. Please help. Okay, first of all, Taylor is the... You know, someone just admitted their name to me and I, I'm just immediately going to tear it apart. Taylor is a really good name, but also Taylor's one of the worst... It's one of the worst names that exists. Because, like, Taylor, one, it's like ambiguously gender neutral, which, again, great if you want to be... Um, great if you would like to uh, alter the legal and or social societal status of your gender. But if you would like not to, you know, everyone's going to ask the question, like... So, guy or girl. Second of all, um, you know, it's like, tailors don't exist anymore. Taylor, you know, in the same way, like, John Smith made sense when there were lots of Smiths, and John was a common first name, and so those Johns worked as Smiths. Sure, makes sense. Modern day world, bad idea, trash name. Exactly. Uh, time to strip mine for the abandoned mineshaft. Why would we strip mine for the abandoned mineshaft? Uh, to... Guitar snatch. I already found one earlier, actually. It was a pretty cool one, too. Like, it was in a cave. It's just I didn't think I'd need to go in. It might be smart to go... Oh, no, I can't, I, I can't mine any emeralds I find under a mountain. Taylors definitely exist. People still wear suits. Okay, you know what? First of all, Taylor... If people don't wear suits, have you seen a single person wear a suit? No. That's because they're made up by big government to keep little YouTuber down. Second of all, even if they did hypothetically exist in some wacky universe, I suppose to be taking my money for some concert merch next week, but, says Mystic Rainbow Dragon, you know what? Bad financial decisions, something I can always get on board with. Also, let's breathe the cows again. I don't know if this is smart, but I guess I need food, worst case. So yeah, let's, let's get a new little life going for ourselves, shall we? Whole new life with new cows. Actually, wait, let's, and let's lead the cow from the other pen into this one. You hear this, cow? I got something for you. I got a whole thing for you. Just follow me. Come on. Follow me, cow. Follow me. What is it with cows and not being able to get through basic structures? Actually, I don't care if everything else escapes. Like, sure. There you go. Follow me, cow. It's really good over here. What? What is your problem? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, look, over here, it's real nice. All you gotta do is climb over the fence. And then, no, 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 okay. It's too close for me to, okay. First of all, did you see that? I just saw through the cow for a second. Okay, just gonna try that one again. Get the cow right against the edge, and then... Nailed it! <laughs> and now we can go. So yeah, I, keeping my wheat farm over here, potentially questionable idea. But yeah, we just stand and we watch crops grow. That is my new plan, chat. Cosmetic surgeons are just tailors for your birthday suit. Hey, Because birthday suit is nakedness. <laughs> now I like that. High quality joke. It's n I like that it was made on the spot. You can tell by how rough it is. How do you back up your worlds, says Darren Book. I have a realm to back up my worlds too. If you don't pay Minecraft money and your world gets corrupted because of what Minecraft does then you are what the boys in the cellar call SOL, I believe. Thank you very much, Star 22 for the $1 super chat. Much appreciated. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave my horse here for a bit. And I'm going to go... Is it really almost nighttime again? I'm going to go find some more seeds. Just chop down some grass till we get some seeds. Then add it to the wheat farm. I want, I want this wheat farm to be big. Successful. Oh, we can use bones for uh, bone mill. There's a good idea. I No, it's not, apparently. There we go. There's a good idea. And we'll kill a bunch of skeletons tonight. And then we can bone mill up our farm. Except now I have space for this. I have got a problem with inventory management. You know what? Let's just... We even got a chest in my inventory I'm not using. Let's just place a chest down. Right over here. It's going to be wonderful. I really have, I need to take a nap before I have to do some more work when I'm watching Toy Cat's so tired. Need nap. Uh, so much wood, lol. Um, if things made in the spot are rough, why are babies so smooth? <laughs> I can't even, can't even justify that with a response. So I'll say, yes, exactly. My thoughts in, in one, in one word, one sentence. 
What do you think of microtransactions? I love microtransactions. Do you ever think to yourself, like, the problem with transactions is how they're too large? Microtransactions have got you covered, friends. Because you can make them as big or small as you like. Unlike most things in my life. So yeah, we got a single bit of wheat and we got some seeds that we can now place in this same area. And it's going to grow and become a giant farm. It's going to be great. I've been under a lot of stress recently. My boss is not communicating with me, so I have no clue if I still work there. And my partner's angry at me. Thanks for the stream, says Puppy Ear Fish. That's the worst thing, like, uncertainty, I'd say. is one of the biggest, like, scary things in life. Like, not... You know, like, when things are bad, they're bad and it's, like, culpable. But when you're not sure if it's bad, you're focusing a lot of energy on something that might or might not be true. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a fun feeling. Most people... Uh, don't don't feel like it's a great one but yeah such as it's the the simplest way is honestly just to be like hey i need some communication from you you communicate with people to ask for communication and you say it in non-gay words so they're not like oh you communication you're like look also part of your income is literally microtransactions how does that make you feel capitalist pig <laughs> most of my income is microtransactions i think um, like, tenths of a penny is how I make my entire income. You would not believe your eyes if ten million toy cat guys burnt down a village as I fell asleep. Actually, I would believe my eyes if that happened. Sounds pretty normal for my world. The IRS has chased me, just take my money, says <laughs> Marvel Ogibeek. You know what? Easy way to avoid your tax liabilities. Give your tax money to toy cat. Sorted. Random side question, is it typically rainy where you live or nah? Uh, it rains 90 days a year. Um, so every fourth day it rains. So, besides the fact that my house has gutters, but I think most houses in the world have gutters, right? And my roof is built for like, wash rain off continuously. Uh, it doesn't affect my life, because like, I... <clears throat> this is the worst opinion in the world. So, you can hate me for this. I hate umbrellas. I hate like... I hate people who act like the rain is a big deal. It's like, get a little wet, and then when you get inside, you can be dry again. Like, oh no, I'm slightly wet now. This is a real problem. It's like, you know, it's it's just it's just moisture. Like, what's what's your problem, friend? Uh, when it when it's cold and wet, that can actually be a problem. Like, oh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to dry off ASAP. But if it's just like, I am. I don't want to be wet. I'd better get an umbrella, which is heavy. It's bulky. You have to carry. Like, I, I hate, like, implements that deal with unnecessary situation. But, like, uh, I hate, like, you know, people who bring, like, hair dryers on holiday because they're like, what if the, the hotel doesn't have one? You're going for a lot of effort to solve a problem that isn't the biggest of problems in the world. You've created a problem and you've created a very tricky solution for it. Feminine hands is Audrey Ellis. <laughs> Good to see you again, Audrey. Um, high quality... Toy cat super chat right there. A super cat chat, if you will. But um by the way, I finally have like a pathway plan for this entire run. We're gonna we're gonna kill skeletons, we're gonna get wheat at the same time as looking for Enderman. And in the end, we're gonna end up with a big wheat farm. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be wonderful. You know, should we do the rest of this run just entirely at day? Like, who doesn't love a good trading run? I kinda do. The people you're referring to about Rain are called Enderman. <laughs> oh my god. I realize why I hate Endermen so much now. It's because they're exactly the the types of people in my life who are like, ooh, yeah, I kinda don't deal with rain. I kind of I kinda think that one of the natural I'm actually people are like, oh yeah, clouds. I've gotta go inside now. I don't like the shade. Imagine how you'd be like, but we've got things to do. Why don't you why don't you stay out and do the, the things that you know like you know like the, it's, it's it's optional to, to go in when it when it, it clouds, right? Clouds won't ruin your life if you don't Oh Jesus! Um Okay, this is a problem, this is a real problem, this is a real problem. Real problem, real problem, real problem. Real, real problem. Oh, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, I don't okay, it's fine. I don't have any blocks on me to like Oh no! Oh! Big Fs.
Okay. So... It has come to my attention that I am no longer alive. But... It's okay. Because... It's okay. It's good. I kind of wanted to do a long walk over to my house. By the way, I'd like to mention, I got wrecked by a zomb- Like, okay, a zombie and a witch at the same time. Rough, but Minecraft natural. Followed by another two zombies. Followed by a zombie in gold armor. With a spider you could hear at the same time. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just mean. <sighs> Let's do the recovery. I'm so beyond just exhausted by that. I've got to go about a thousand five hundred blocks, maybe. Let's do this. Oh. My plan is simple. You should for three different key signatures with that whistling. <laughs> oh, I'm I think I'm like tone deaf or whatever. Like I don't understand the difference between like notes and stuff. I just do like high and low. I have no idea what like tones are and stuff. Um, I didn't bring luck this time. The second I joined you died. I'm really sorry, says Grisalvi. This is all your fault, Grisalvi. It's all your fault. Um, but yeah, we can get there. We just gotta go a long journey in- By the way, look how few mobs are spawning. Minecraft has a mob spawning issue. And then it doesn't really know where to spawn the mobs, necessarily. And that, to me, seems like a problem. Oh, there might be some clever bug in like, because if my, if my stuff is still there, in the despawn chunks. I don't know. Why do bedrock creepers move so fast? Do they move fast, or do you move slow? Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. You remember you drank pineapple juice in the end stream, says Yetus Deletus. I do remember. I also remember it ruining my life. Your stuff should still be there. The chunks aren't loaded. Oh yeah, my stuff's gonna be there. I've just gotta go through a lot of effort. <laughs> like, uh, it's fine. It's just a lot, you know. So yeah, after about five minutes of me being back there, everything will be fine. So this is the zombie village. I've passed through it before. Good to see it again. Looking forward to... Looking forward to seeing seeing it again. It's been a while, am I right? Ooh. By the way, I've got a whole thing. Do you, um... Does anyone else get this when you drink too much, like, carbonated juice? Your stomach is, like, filled with, like, air. Just me. Probably just me. But you know, it's a real problem that we don't we don't have enough discourse about in modern day. So oh, let's take the wheat. You know, this is really a good thing. Me dying, ouch, was an opportunity for me to take some wheat that I vaguely want anyway. So who's the winner now? It's your boy. It's your main man. Oh, there's so much wheat in this village that I just didn't take because it wasn't in hay bale form. And also the seeds. Oh yeah, we're gonna have the biggest wheat farm. I'm just gonna farm wheat from now on, I've decided. That way we won't encounter any, like, zombies in armor. None of that for me, friends. It's literally why you burp. If you considered air food, you might never starve. That's optimistic. <laughs> you know, real optimism is ignoring the laws of thermodynamics. Same thing happens when you eat too fast, but it results in bloating. So what you're saying is the trick is eat, but not too fast. 
I eat really, I eat really slowly these days. But I don't know. It makes me feel like an old person. I'm like, oh, I'd better slow down my eating. I'd hate to put too much down the hatch too fast. Yeah, I have, I have a natural instinct to just eat food. Like there won't be any food left if I don't eat it in this speed. Bro, for some reason when I went to North Korea, they shot me and now I'm stuck there. Helps as Yetus Litus. The trick is you got to become friends with Dennis Rodman, and Dennis Rodman will get you out. So yeah, we're saving our sprint, by the way, for the last stretch. Actually, let's click pig. We're going to need like a bit of pig meat. Is there a word for pig meat? It's definitely not. It's just called pig meat. I understand my citizen beating air. That's why they're dead, says Joseph Stalin. <laughs> now that is the time for a Joseph Stalin fan account. <sighs> okay, we got this. This is going to be great. Um, I love, I love making up for lost time. I honestly do think in this case, like, you know what? This is just my reminder to focus on what I enjoy in Minecraft. I don't enjoy killing Enderman, so we're just not gonna do it. I hate the process, so we're just not going to. Mr. Toy Cat, I love your videos. Thank you very much, Mr. Evil 737. Are you a 737 that's like haunted? Why are you evil? Pork. No, it's definitely pig meat. It's definitely just pig meat. I don't know what this pork you're talking about is. Never heard of it, friends. Donald Dennis Rodman has done more for US uh, foreign policy than the entire Trump regime. Um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty true. That's pretty fair. <laughs> that's uh, that's an accurate statement, I believe. Pig meat. Yeah, that's what we call it. That's what they call it. I mean, don't don't be mad at me. Be mad. You aren't sharing any pearls anyway. Yeah, they oh, they aren't sharing any pearls from it. Yeah, like it's such a it's such a luck based thing, and I don't like luck based things you have to do repeatedly. Like luck based is really fun for a one off. Like chat. Oh wait, here's a fun one. Russian roulette on the spot. I'm gonna. If you could make a million dollars right now, but you have a one in six chance of dying, would you do it? Like Russian roulette. They they give you a gun, pull the trigger to your head. Do you die or not? One in six chance. Do you take it? Chat, give me the... What coordinates am I going for, by the way? I feel like it's somewhere in this forest. I don't know where, though. Let's see if I survive right now. Um, what coordinates are we going for? I lost them. I, I, I remember them. Um... So most people actually would, by the way. I'd be having fun and making money as Grayson players. I feel like... Down here... I'd rather have a 6 out of 6 chance of dying. <laughs> hey, a lot of people making the same joke right there. Um, but yeah, it's somewhere around negative 650. I've lost it. Minus 584, someone reckons. Okay, let's go to minus 584. Yeah, I think we went past it a little bit. Yeah, I'm, this, this area is looking familiar. There's a little... There we go. This is my cave. Oh, uh, no, zombie. Jump. Give me a second, zombie. Give me a second. Thank you. So we just put on the armor. And then we have space for the, the pork chops. Easy said. Easy done. Now we keep some... If I just had dirt in my inventory, I would have been able to do that faster. I just didn't know if I did. And I was like, oh. I don't know about this one. So, okay. Right now on the spot, I think I'd do it. Like... I do when I was younger. Uh, right now, I, I have a pretty good gig. Like, I like what I do. I don't earn a million dollars or anything close. But, like, I wouldn't risk my life because I value my life. Like, ever since doing something I care about... There was a moment, literally, like, five years ago, where I was like, I don't want to die anymore. That's pretty cool. It's a big life progress moment. So, anyway, one in six chance. Let's see if I live. Russian roulette simulator. Just I just want to... Russian roulette simulator. I just want to... I want to see real quick, would I die? Because I think I would have done it when I was younger if someone offered me a million dollars. So let's find out right now. Click to spin. Oh, 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 oh. Dead. <laughs> I sh I'm glad I did. First up, a hardcore world on Java. It just loads up a huge mesa biome, and I mean a huge mesa biome, and there's very few trees in between and food, so I die faster. Uh, there should be trees on the top of the uh, the things, right? 
So yeah, just fun fact, by the way. <laughs> Pro tip, don't. Like, okay, can you see, by the way, right there, me deciding not to play Russian Roulette just saved me my life. Again, I was like, when I was younger, I would have played it. If someone offered me at 21, I would have died. I would have died. I mean, obviously it's not the same odds, but like, you know, on one, one, but like, here's the thing. If I roll again, um, this time we alive, you know, we, we'll, win a, we'll win most of the time, but because we won't win all the, oh no, we dead again. Oh man, dead twice and three spins. See, this is my luck. This is why I shouldn't play Russian with that. But my actual point of this, uh, with that was like, Taking a single risk is fun. Taking lots of repeated risks is just a short, like not risks even, like gambles, I guess. <laughs> that person could have saved us all so much money, says Elizabeth Shook. See, if I'd have just died back then, again, the amount of super chat you would have saved, really, would have been wonderful. Also, Christine, Christine Price says, does every stronghold have an end portal because I can't find one in mine? So, um, to explain this one simply, yes, but sometimes they're not connected to the rest of the stronghold. If that happens, it's near impossible to find in survival without spending hours. So you can either find another stronghold, or if that's too depressing, you cannot. Those are your choices. They're both pretty high quality choices. Okay, so let's hold a bunch more ground by the river. And let's make the biggest wheat farm ever, I guess. Oh, I've got 61 seeds. I can make such a wheat farm. Oh, this is this is the wheat farm of true. Oh, we need another hoe. You know, first time in history someone's ever said they need more hoes in their in their day to day life. Okay, so two wooden hoes. Just cover this area in it. Let's go. What are you drinking right now, says Spooty? I just finished my angry or hard. Okay, I'm gonna use my pickaxe because I just don't want you to go away. Thank you very much, sir. And let's get the sword back out. We're gonna need another sword, so let's just craft another one of those now. Uh, Phantom's gonna spawn tonight if we don't sleep, so we have to sleep through it anyway, which sucks. But let's try and turn that into a positive thing, shall we? So first of all, we're gonna make... We're gonna need more than one more wooden sword. Let's just make two now. Why can't I make a wooden sword? Oh, we don't have planks. Let's just throw one of these. Turn this particular thing into planks, and then make two swords. Easy, easy. Sword, sword, done. So I filled up my inventory again, which is always a fun thing to say. And I replace all of the seeds in this area. I know there's no water around here, but we can fix that relatively easy if we want to. Just remove one of these and they'll all fall down, probably. Place the water all the way out to here. And what do you know, we got a place for water to get to here. Is this the guy who beat Minecraft out any tools? It is! Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is mostly there to prove that one Minecraft map wrong. That's like, you can't beat Minecraft without. We're only using wooden tools. Yeah, screw you, Minecraft map. What do you know? So, um. Okay. Seeds everywhere. Honestly, wheat is just my ticket to success now. Actually, not even wheat. I only need a certain amount of wheat to get to the level where I can sell pumpkins. And then I get most of it done by pumpkins as well. Okay, this. This amount of wheat will grow into wheat. This amount of seeds will grow into wheat. I guess they're, they're wheat now, in a way. They'll grow into wheat, I just have to give it some time. These cows will all breed of each other and make more cows. All the things we want getting done, they're gonna get done now, is my point. So, Frendo, Swamp Villager, I have some good news for you. You can sell me some more things that I'd like to buy from you. So, we've now got eight emeralds. Again, we need 25. Plus, give or take, five or six to succeed here. So we're now 17 emeralds away from a victory game. Chat, should we play Russian Roulette again? Oh, I'm alive. Could have made a million dollars right there. But, um, yeah, I, I think making a single bad decision is kind of fun. Because who knows how it could go. If you make enough of them in a row, though... It's just a lot of bad decisions. Did I lose my horse, by the way? I feel like we had a horse. And I feel like now we don't. I feel like it's definitely missing. Chat, did I bring my horse back with me or not? Am I... Is it one of you guys? 
Did you lose your saddle somewhere? I feel like I definitely had a horse before. I feel like I don't anymore. And that feels like not a big coincidence. Um, 56 wheat and like a stack and 13 seeds. Yeah, 50, 54 wheat is all we need to go from here to successful. You're unironically helping my uni thesis, more than the professor does, just by streaming, keeping me occupied with something in the background. Yeah, you know, a lot of people say that. And it's a big compliment to be said that I am a background ask. <laughs> it's all I have wanted. You left it behind. You did in a boat somewhere else. You brought your horse. Where's my horse right now, then? I feel like I should know where my horse... Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Let's put the horse inside the fenced off area. Let's just leave him there for a bit, you know? Actually, wait, since it's nighttime, let's just get some skeletons for the bone mill. Let's not even worry about the, uh... Let's not even worry about... Uh, anything else there. You're actually a background half me too right now. I'm supposed to be doing a, bunch, uh, a lot of uh, schoolwork, but I just know... Do you think the entire reason that streaming exists is so people have something to procrastinate with? Is that my purpose in life, friends? <laughs> I'm okay if it is. But it's funny to imagine that it is. Okay, so let's just... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Ignore this drowned over here. Ignore this drowned over here. They don't exist, and they can't hurt me if I don't let them exist. And then... We're just going to get some skeletons to spawn. Then we'll go to sleep, because they'll die in the sun. I won't have to kill them and waste any wood. You see any more skeletons? Skeleton here. Just get a bunch of them around. Any more? Oh, remember that Enderman? Do you reckon he actually like teleported underground? Maybe he died and his stuff just... Oh, there we go. Two skeletons. Perfect. So now we're going to slip one night of uh, thing. How many people have the blue member badges of Electro Polo? Uh, I know you can count it on one hand. Oh, there's a there's a new badge for uh, two years as well. When Kit Kats comes back, she's something. Uh, she is currently not here. When Kit Kats gets back, um, she's got a two year badge now, and it's uh, we got a cool new one for that. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, let's pick up the bows and the arrows. No, the bones and the arrows, not the bows. Because bone equals bone meal. And again, I'm a farmer now. All of this Enderman nonsense, that just gets in the way of my farming. It's what I have decided. What's your progress so far? I've got seven IF Enders. Uh, I need 17 emeralds, and then we've beaten the game. No, wait, 17 in a bit. Let's say. Only 11 more months of that badge, though. See, it's a cool badge. You know you secretly want I mean, secretly. Quite openly want it, if you're talking about how far away from it you are. But you know you openly want it. I came back to a world and there were no villagers. Yeah, that's uh, that's happened to me before. It breaks your heart, but it is sadly a reality of this this uh, cruel deterministic universe we live in. Anyway, so we're gonna turn bone into bone mill. Put this here. Put that here. And there we go. So let's just bone mill like a nice little corner over here. Do, 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 do. Is this all the way or not? I Let's go once. Okay, that is all the way. Oh, and sometimes it goes just straight from there to done. So this got me enough wheat to go pretty much enough. We basically just have to wait a while for all of this. Or we could put some stuff in a composter. But yeah, I think the best strategy is honestly just to have so much wheat planted that statistically some of it is going to grow. That's the power play right here. Just plant so much wheat that eventually some of it grows by pure coincidence. Because, like, the, if you watch a single piece of wheat grow, it doesn't go anywhere. If you watch lots of pieces of wheat grow, they go somewhere. So, chat, this is, this is the stream now. It's me watching some... Body once told me the world was going to roll me. No, um, yeah, we just watch wheat grow. I need wheat. It might be more effective to go find wheat in, like, a uh, a thing. It might be effective to, like, 
put sugar cane. Like, if we can find a lot of a natural thing, we could grind it up in the grinder, the uh, bone mill maker, the thing. Replace webcam with wheat PNG. But yeah, we sit and we wait. In a video, I'd cut back to 20 minutes later. But this isn't a video, so how's the weather in your part of the world? Uh, it's us watching you watch wheat grow. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. So, um, I hear that there was an election in somewhere important. That was a thing I heard. It was a pretty big news story. Wasn't it? Yeah. It was good. I don't know, I haven't left my house today, says Mercedes. Happy Thursday to you too. You know, I think we're gonna we're gonna place more of the wheat like over here. We're gonna kinda like stretch the wheat farm out. Yeah, let's let's hold some ground while we wait. Let's like let's get that done now so we can save ourselves a step later. So hold this ground over here too. This ground up here is a little less liable to staying in place. So we'll move some water over here. And that should help it. I don't think water works when it's the block below for some reason. It has to be like the same level. It's a whole thing. So I could also... Oh, this water. I can... Okay, we go. We got irrigation sorted, boys. We got irrigation sorted. We move water under my crafting table. And then... Oh look, baby horse. I don't know where it came from, but that's cute. Look at this. We got irrigation for the masses. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is beautiful, isn't it? So we can also have it go like this. And just have the maximum amount of blocks possible. Be affected by it. So I can't try getting bones from fish. Oh yeah, that's a that's a cool thing you can do on Bedrock. Exclusive feature. We kill some salmons. And then we get some bones. It's a bit silly that salmon drop bones, but beggars can't be choosers. Apparently salmon don't drop bones. I know it's like a rarish chance, but it's still like you gotta do it. Come on, go on, salmon. I'm I'm trying my best to welcome you here, buddy. So yeah, we uh, we wait and we stare at some wheat crops while they grow. So okay, cat. Um, okay, nope. It's funny sarcasm. Um, so, be my girlfriend, toy cat says Isabella Wrigley. See, the problem with a girlfriend is you have to be friends with someone, and like <laughs> too rich, am I right? You think? think I'm capable of that. Uh, nice to see I'm not the only one who struggles to melee salmon. Baby zombies and salmon are like, they're hellish to try and melee. They're both the physical embodiment of Satan when it comes to how hard they are to hit. Don't know why it is that way, but it definitely is. Why did the villager place pumpkin, like uh, place potatoes in these slots when I gave him all those wheat seeds? Like, come on, my man. You gotta work with me here. You gotta work with me. So yeah, to improve the tick speed of these chunks, I'm gonna continue staring a bit. Oh no, oh, okay, that's fine. But yeah, look at this. All that irrigation is working wonders now. And now we take every third bit or so, we get some wheat seeds, and then we expand the farm. Oh yeah, we got free wheat there. We are making all the progress in the world. <laughs> so this is Toy Cat and the Wheat Farm. So you know what, chat? You have a rare opportunity. Ask me any question and I'll give you any answer. On a scale of one to 10. Wait, there's a good one, yeah. Uh, also, leave politics out of this holy Minecraft stream, says Baron Orc. I don't know. I don't know why people are like, you know what? I was thinking to myself, what a great Minecraft stream. But then I realized people might not know 
about, you know, what's going on in the political world, which is always being blasted into the world all the time, always. So I figured I'd really, you know, I'd add that in just to help some people out. And it's like, you know, people are aware of politics. They know where to find it if they're not aware somehow. Uh, you don't need to... You know, some people like like her reprise from politics. Check out what's on your shirt. It's a kangaroo in Australia. I'm actually raising money for the wildfires right now. And all you have to do is put money in your local post box. And then your post service will get it to me. Don't worry about the details in between there and now. I have to transcribe an interview I did. Should I do that now, says Mercedes? Oh, I I did an interview recently that someone said they had to spend hours transcribing. One, that sounds like hell. Sorry, that's a thing you gotta do. And two, yes, exactly. On a scale of one to ten, are you alive? Eh, seven. I wanna eat kangaroo meat. I had kangaroo meat. I got the most, the... So I had kangaroo meat that was bad once, and it was, like, I, I got, like, standard kangaroo meat. Like, it cost me, like, 15 euros. It was so bad I had to eat it with ketchup. I never would eat steak with ketchup. But I was like, it's the only way this is working. Um, and then once I got um, kangaroo like in Australia, it was re it was a really high end place too. Like, well not it wasn't a high end place. It was a high end steak at a mid tier place. And so I tried this steak, and it was so inedible. I was like. How did you just charge me, like, a hundred Australian for that or something? And like, I I wanted to say no, no, this isn't okay, but I didn't. I said thank you very much. It was lovely, and then I paid, because you know what? Non-confrontational, am I right? If I buy two bits of bread, I can save myself a lot of pain and skip straight to the pumpkin stage. Oh, actually, I need to go collect those pumpkins still, don't I? Okay, one step at a time. One step at a time. Wheat is grass, grass growing stream. Let's chop down some more random bits of uh, grass too. Let's get some more, more of this going. It's an overly complicated trial in which a bunch of people give unnecessary facts and nothing really gets solved. You mean Congress, am I right? Ha ha, it's like I made a commentary. Ha ha. Oh, I didn't get weak for that one, because it wasn't all the way grown. Sadness. Very much sadness. Oh, let's plant some more. Let's uh, have some more of this. So it can, like, already be able to get some stuff in. Easy. So I'm going to go to the other village, just in case they had some wheat in their crop planters I didn't get. Ooh, gold armor. But just in case, I'm going to go there. And we'll hopefully find some stuff on the way. Do you enjoy the Beatles? I'd be extra cat. I'm just simply stereotyping. I hate the Beatles because it's called like rock music, and like I guess to someone that's considered rock. Like and at the time it was probably like wacky and wild. But you listen, and it's like I don't know whose grandmother is calling this rock, but they should stop doing that. <coughs> like I was excited because someone describes it as like so revolutionary for its time, and you're like, this is just men singing. Who, why was this controversial ever? You know, it's like if you, it's like if you, uh, if you see like a picture of a woman's ankle and it's like, did you know in the 1800s this was considered lewd? But it's like, well, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, use that recreationally. I'm not gonna do exciting things to myself in my spare time to a picture of, just because it used to be, like same with, same with Star Wars movies. Like, yes, the Star Wars movies were impressive when there was no other sci-fi in that genre. And now there is, and now they're not impressive. Stop. You don't have to act like they're still good because they used to be. It's like things can be, things can be good on their own merit, and things can be good because of their cultural significance. But you don't have to act like the two are perfectly linked. You know, that's a pet peeve of mine. So yeah, none of the crops in this village have actually grown, which is sad. Also, did you hear that fox squeak? It's a very weird noise. Very, very weird noise. What is that? Is that a fox squeaking? Hey there. Look at that fox over there. That's such a cute fox. Look at the way he's like sat down. 
That is adorable. I love foxes. It's been a while since I've been able to compliment a fox. I do disgusting things to that ankle picture. I mean, you know, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying I didn't. Anyway, uh, why are you disgusted by animal organs in your pie? You eat the legs, belly, neck, and everything else, says Christine Price. Oh, you might be earlier on the stream, if you're asking that. Just to clarify, I think it, it's entirely, like, cultural, like, biases, right? Like, there's nothing inherently gross about eating a... Actually, no, what it is, what it is. So I'll admit this is true, but it's just the easiest way to live my life, so I continue to live my life this way. The only reason that I find it okay to eat animals is because it's been that way my whole life. To the level where when I eat a chicken burger, I'm not thinking about the chicken that died for me. It's just like, oh yeah, this is, this is the sustenance that I need. And it just so happens an animal life has to be sacrificed for that to happen. You know what? We all make sacrifices for the greater good, for, for Ars Tosca or whatever. But, um, when, when you say there's kidney ground up in a pie, it's like, why would we? Is that even tasty? Is, so, is, is someone just a kidney? Like, what is the, you know, like, you, you get what I'm saying? It's just like, it just seems, it just seems a bit, bit much. It just seems like, hey, you know, we have, we have perfectly acceptable parts of the animal to eat. We don't need to eat this part. It'd be good if we didn't, in fact. So I'm going to kill all the skeletons and then pick up their remains um, right now. And then we're going to go watch the wheat farm some more. Ankle fetish confirmed. Man, I... No. I was going to be like, you know what? It would be cool to have a foot fetish. Because it's the most common one, it seems. And you could be like, oh, it's my niche little secret. But no, instead, you know, you're into watching, you know, people step step on other people's things. And it's like, oh, this is a lot of effort to organize. And once you do it, you can only really do it once. It's just, it's too much. It's because we did think about it and had to let everyone forget the weapon needs. We've gone extinct a long way, time ago. Yeah, like it's a smart survival mechanism. That like, oh yeah, we don't think about the animals. We brutally murder, systematically murder. You know, people act like the Holocaust was bad. Have you seen inside of an animal slaughterhouse? Uh, they're called a... It's called like a patisserie, not patisserie. It's called like a... An abattoir in the UK. Um, there are places we go to systematically murder animals. And we use techniques so that they don't get too slow in the systematic murder process. You know, lest, lest our systematic murder be less efficient. Um, it's like, it's like terrifying. Uh, like... If you value animal lives at all, and we all do, because we find cats cute and dogs adorable. Um, but yeah, we all meet, myself included. But when you're reminded that we eat meat, you're like, oh, that's not nice of us. That's why That's why it's rude when vegans are like, meat is murder and throw animal blood on you. It's like, well, we kind of know it. We're just being willfully ignorant because it's a key part of our diets, you know. I wouldn't make that comparison. Uh, Andrew, it might get you on YouTube's bad side. I Did I say holocaust? I meant holodeck. It's like a holodeck where you're inside a, a holodeck. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Save myself. As long as the animal is intelligent enough to remember or care, I think it's fine. You know, human children aren't intelligent enough to remember or care. But we don't kill them for meat. I mean, we should. Like, Actually, humans are pretty inefficient because it takes us nine months to make a child. If that wasn't the case, you better believe we'd be binding up, grinding up our bones into into more humans. Animal slaughter actually happened though. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think laughing at that can get you in YouTube. Like someone's gonna use that clip now and be like, "Toy Cat laughs at serious events being denied." That's on you, man, James Sapskin. Bad joke. Um. We had to watch a video on humanities about chicken factories and a girl was eating KFC in the back. Oh, one of my favorite um, little anecdotes on this is uh, from Jamie Oliver's, like he did this, if you don't know Jamie Oliver, he's a UK chef. Anyway, he's in the UK. He does, th and he wanted to like change schools to make them like have better nutrition for kids or something. And um, basically he did this thing where he's like, I'm a grind. I'm gonna show how chicken nuggets are made. So he grinds up all the weird, gross bits of chicken, 
and he's like, he makes it look like a tasty chicken nugget. And he's like, but who wants to eat this now? And all the kids did. And you can just see the camera pan when he's just like, <laughs> um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If I could show YouTube videos on this channel without being copyright struck, you better believe that would be quite high up on the list. But yeah, now we just kind of farm wheat continuously and make the wheat farm bigger. And let's find some seeds too, I guess. Actually, let's just stand on the chest. Oh, wait, should we kill the salmon? It didn't go well before, but we could now. Why the hell does YouTube censor one of the most impactful events in human history? Um, I don't know, it's just like, certain things, Jamie Oliver went down and all sad, Lou. He used to be better back in the good days. Um, can't say long because I need to sleep. Good luck, says Biggie Cheese. Thank you very much, Biggie Cheese. I've only been going for three hours and got one ender pearl. What is, what is with my life? How do I make such bad decisions continuously? Um, I used to be good at Minecraft. Now I watch salmon flop around on my wheat farm and I call that a day. Okay, I'm gonna get you, Salmon. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you without being got myself. Yeah, got you. Just had to break my own wheat plant to do it. Yeah, we're gonna stop killing Salmon. Um, didn't realize this was a stream. Hi, says Nope Rope. Hello, Nope Rope. It is, in fact, a stream. That's the cool thing about YouTube. You can be thinking you're gonna get into a video, accidentally watch a stream instead. I mean, it's good from my perspective as a streamer. Probably questionable from your perspective as a person who just wanted to watch a YouTube video. But you know what? What does your perspective matter? It's all about the elites, which is me in this case. Yeah, that's my real opinion that I'm definitely believing in. So let's place my chest down now, by the way. Oh, wait, I had a chest. Where it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bad place to put a chest. Has to be said. Bad place to put a chest. Put the salmon in there. Oh, we need to keep the gunpowder. Wait, I had more gunpowder before. Where's my TNT gone? Okay, we're gonna have to make more TNT. Oh, and also we can use redstone to make redstone sticks. We're gonna make a couple of those. We're gonna need these later on. Maybe flint stills, but no, we have to use redstone torches. So we put the redstone torches back in the chest for now. Oh, we need the sand as well. We just get some sand now. It's easy enough to get. Let's break some sand and let's replace it with... Oh, there's sand over here. We can just replace it with dirt as we go. So, IBX Toy Cat. Um, hello, what's your favorite book? Says Ellie DK. DK. Ellie Kong. She's the leader of the pack. You know... <laughs> Should I just answer a question? <laughs> okay, um, my favorite book. Um, so Nicholas Helena, thank you very much for the two dollars. Wanted to say hi. I'm glad. Hello, right back to you. Um, on top of my head, even though Harry Potter as a series has got its questionabilities because of its author, I think that um, I think that the books were really great at like introducing kids into like a fantastical world that like I don't know it's like it's a cool concept a world that isn't ruled by you know like I don't know like it's ruled by kids rules right um so I thought that was a cool concept I loved Harry Potter but that's not like a niche thing I like Artemis Fowl books a lot I reread them a few times because again I, it's the same thing like it's a super super child that has all the smarts in the world Plans five steps ahead, always smarter than the people around him. Is this wheat done, do you think, chat? I'm gonna guess that it is. It is, go me. See, this wheat farm, this, this wheat farm is going places. So we only need like a few more wheat trades. I'm gonna guess like two more, maybe three. Three more wheat trades, and then we can make our pumpkin trades. And once we make our pumpkin mm -hmm. trades, we get like another eight. Wait, where's the where's where's your guy gone? Did he die? No, game. Okay, he's there. Thank you, thank you for still, still being here for me, friend. See, I'd say we need like four more of these, 
So about 72 more wheat. And then we're in a great position. Oh, we've got another farmer. We could probably sell him potatoes or something. I only wants wheat as well. Should we cut some more salmon? I reckon that's a good idea. But yeah, I honestly think the biggest task is we just watch wheat grow now. And that's not... Do, you th do salmon still drop um, bones? It might be to just kill the skeleton. Okay, my sword is gone. Let's just switch that one out. Get the skeleton to kill the drowned. Oh, I should get the drowned to kill the skeleton, rather. Right, look at this. Look at this. You want to hit me, skeleton? Can't hit me now. Okay, yeah, you can. Oh. Can skeletons actually fire while they're underwater? It felt like he couldn't. No good reason to confirm or deny that fact. But it felt true. And feelings are basically facts. 5% chance for fish to drop bones. Did it used to be 1 in 3? Why did they lower it so much? I don't think there's any point in going for a 5% chance, personally. You know? Maybe I've got the wacky opinion there. Oh, I've, all got, I've got this bone from earlier. Oops. Oops. I could have gone a lot further. YouTube plus toy cat equals time killer. <laughs> okay, let's make a bunch of wheat. Shouldn't have done those ones, really. Just try and go, like, all the way from two to four. Just like this. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at all this wheat we just made. Oh. And more importantly, because we made so much wheat, we get a lot of seeds back. Which means now we're planting more seeds. And we're getting more wheat. I love the rich getting richer part of Minecraft farming. Dick D, Dr. Yes Cat, will you ever consider visiting our fair British Dominion put on the seas? P.S. Huge fan of everything you do, says Canadian King Coins. I've been to Canada a few times already. I'm sure you already know that. Or maybe you don't. Uh, I've got I've got a video. I went to Canada once. I had a $50 flight from the UK to Canada. I watched that video myself yesterday because I watched my own videos for fun, apparently. Um, but yeah, I've been to Canada quite a few times, including on a $50 flight once. Um, I really like I really like Canada. I've been to like five of the provinces now. I'm only missing Saskatchewan, Edmonton, Edmonton, no wait, uh, Saskatchewan, Regina, no, Winnipeg's the state, uh, Prince Edward Island, and uh, New Brunswick. I've been to every Canadian province besides those ones. And I'm making plans to go to those Canadian provinces, like, I'm gonna get them ticked off. I'm gonna get them ticked off. It's gonna be great. Okay, so we're gonna get more bone mill because that was clearly a winning strategy. Get bone mill is definitely part one on the plan to be victorious. Also, did, I, did, I, did that drop no seeds or am I crazy? Why was the, where did my seeds go? I deserve some seeds again. So yeah, we're gonna just let some more skeletons die by letting them spawn in. And then as soon as we see a bunch, we go to sleep. It's a high quality plan for a high quality world. Edmonton, Alberta. Yeah, you can tell I'm really like exhausted watching your own videos to get that watch time up. Okay, I've always wondered actually, you know, you joke Harrison Gray. I've genuinely wondered so many times, like does my watch time count towards like, cause YouTubers want you to watch their videos for a long time. Fun fact, if you want to help me out, the number one thing you can do to help me out Seriously, this sounds sarcastic, but it's real. Just when you watch a video, watch it all the way through. Like, not in like a second tab, not in like... Watch it with your eyes all the way through, with the sound on. And it sends YouTube the signal that people enjoy watching that video. People like you would also like to see it. You know, not people that you know. People in, that the algorithm has compared to you in terms of your watch habits. Um, so I've always wondered, does, does your view count towards that? Or does it not because you find it via certain sources? I've always wondered, like, because if if I just watch with a VPN, how would YouTube know? I, I, that's probably, you know, considering some level of botting. Maybe it's not worth doing. But I'm so intently curious. How does YouTube know if my eyes are on it? I just mean, like, have the tab actually open. I think YouTube can tell when it's, like, backgrounded versus when it's primaried. And they want it primary, not background. That's my understanding. Change user from Nicholas. Uh, my last connection made my computer freeze while I was playing hardcore. Uh, oop. 
You know what? I'm glad you did that for me, Derperino. Thank you very much for the $5. Uh, regardless. Should we just go to sleep? I don't see- it. Where's my horse, by the way? I just realized, like... Did my horse escape at some point? Without me realizing. Okay, so... We'll kill these creepers in the morning. Maybe. No, I definitely want to get some skeletons killed tonight. But I need a horse. And for some reason, my horse has gone- I admittedly, there is a hole in the side of the cage. Like, it's not- it's not implausible to work out how that happened. It's just a bit like, why, why horse? Why you leave me? Um, I put your let's plays and off play while I sleep. Um, but won't your phone screen shut down unless you mean like on a laptop or something? Again, I, I think that's a great idea too. But yeah, watch time. YouTubers need it. It's what YouTubers crave. Um. Literally what YouTubers crave. I saw an Edmund in the forest. Oh, really? You know what? I'll look. More Russian roulette, says Grayson players. You know what? Just for you, Grayson players. Russian roulette. I'm going to bet $50 on this. Because I'm I'm a... You know, I just want to die or whatever. Oh. And I just lived. Like, proper threshold there. Okay, let's find this Edmund in the forest, shall we? So, this is my forest. Where are you at, Enderman? I don't want to play by their games. But if I kill one Enderman, and I get an Enderpearl. I think I saw... Okay, if I get one more Enderpearl, I just need this wheat and I'm done. This Enderpearl takes me a lot closer to... Should we just... Should we just do this? Who needs a plan? Oh wait, let's jump off into the water. Follow me in here, friend. Follow me in here. Get the crypto block next to him too. Look at this. Look at this. Oh no 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 no! Jesus. Okay, it's fine. You wanna you wanna come attack me? You going back to the other side now? Okay. I got you, man. Okay. Now this ender pole allows me. All I need to do is get. I might even be able to now. So I need twenty four ish, maybe twenty five, twenty six. Ender pearls now. Sorry, emeralds. And I have enough to set. I have enough for nine trades of pumpkins right here. Nine trades of pumpkins. So I've got 18 emeralds locked down that way. So I only need another. Literally, we, we need such a low number. I think it is best at this point just to bone mill our way to victory. We stand near the crops and we find skeletons all night. Unless they don't grow during the night, that would affect our decision. There's just so many creepers, there's no skeletons. Where are you at, skeletons? Where are you at? There's a skeleton in the water. That's not really what I'm going for, though. Minecraft, but every five minutes you have a one in six chance of dying. Oh, that's a beautiful idea. Minecraft, but on a regular basis you have to play Russian Roulette to win. Okay, right now, if I was playing Russian Roulette with my Minecraft life, I'm not. But if I was, would I win? Hey, we can continue playing. How about, that's how we'll decide if the stream keeps on going. Because it's it's really late now, I've been streaming for over three hours. Every five minutes we'll play Russian Roulette with the stream's life. Um, that's how we can decide how long we should go. Put torches near your plants. I don't know if I have the ingredients for torches, friend. You overestimate my preparedness. Actually, here's the way to just check. It's night time. Let's stare at my plants. Let's see if any of them grow. Chat, tell me if you see any plants growing. I'm gonna look very closely. Okay, I don't see any growing. I've, I've given up. Oh, there's my horse. I found uh, him. You know, horses are hers, right? You know, I don't want to be, don't want to be offensive, but horses are definitely hers. So. Now we take this horse, and should we find another village? Is that like worth doing? Is that like a, a fun little idea? Yeah, these drowns are causing undue amounts of pain for the. <laughs> it's a baby villager you're trying to break in there for, guys. We'll let them do it, it'll be cute. You wanna see a, a village get taken over? Borrow villager torches. Oh yeah, there literally are some right here. If we're going to be here at night anyway, we might as well, you're right. 
Okay, we're going to place a torch on the chest. You can't do that anymore. We're going to place torches around all this nonsense. Including right here and up there, because why not? There we go. It's lit up. I don't think that works the same way people think it works, but I'm good for now. Uh, nighttime's almost over, actually. So let's just go to sleep. Let everything burn. Get the skeleton and be wonderful. Drowned at the front door. Go at me going out the back window. That is rude to the drowns that work so hard to uh, keep you in there. Okay, look at this magic. Hey, bones. So that's three more bone mill. It's not a huge difference, but it's a difference. And we just stare at the farm. Oh, no, 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 no! The one thing I care about, and somehow a creeper manages to destroy it anyway. Ugh. Ugh. You sound very tired. Yeah, I am. I am. I realistically, realistically shouldn't be doing this. But who cares about realism, am I right? Um, here's two dollars for the Enderman. I did a bet with myself, says Cheese Cat TV. It's good of you to be honest with bets that no one else knows about. You could have done nothing, but you did something. And that, that is all humanity can ever ask from you, friend. To do something when you could have done nothing. Ooh, seeds. Uh, thank you very much for the, the, the words that I already said out loud. Do appreciate them. Or do I? Maybe I hate them. And this is all a ploy to get more of your super chat dollars. Who knows for sure? I don't know. But yeah, so we're going to get four more emeralds from trading this, and then another nine would be a bit 22. We're going to be real close to the mark. Like, we're going to be right next to it. Okay, so... Yeah, I'd say, I'd say we need to do that three more times. Oh, it might be four, right? It's hard to say from here. Be way, it's, it's fine. What's your opinion on the revolutionary war toy cat? Who was in the wrong who was justified? I think that both sides were bad. But also both sides were okay in that all humans are okay. Yeah, toy cat, I'm a lesbian. I have an adorable girlfriend. I want everyone, including you and your viewers, to know that. Says so Sub-Zero, the white German Shepherd. So if you and your lesbian girlfriend would like to buy me pasta one day, let me know your address. And don't actually, please don't. That's a sarcasm. Don't, don't go. No, yeah, 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 fuck. What is it with the creepers today? I dropped my controller for a minute. You know, I don't need to fix that. This is a whole, whole thing. But yeah, we're just staring at crops, hoping they grow. Oh man. Congrats on your girlfriend, my lesbian friends. It's mostly ghostly. Right. I'm I'm happy for them and their lesbian girlfriend. I think more people need a lesbian girlfriend. You ever consider that? We could fix homophobia in like a week if everyone just got a lesbian girlfriend. Come on guys. You know? Invest in candles, people. So yeah, let's do some chat. Let's just play Actually, let's let's play more stupid games. You know that um, they've got more like wheels on their thing. Tarot cards. What is that? Oh, you can predict your future with. Okay, wait. The same wheel does your future as well. My future is four of wands. What? Four of wands. Okay, so your p consistent efforts have been resulted in reward and satisfaction. The drive to create or build something has been developing in your subconscious. Present, accept the support of friends and loved ones and you cannot be strong all the time. You're on track to achieve something meaningful, so do not forget you're not alone. 
By believing yourself and applying positive to your decisions, you'll achieve prosperity. The foundation of a huge should be laid on the- Okay, whatever. That's my tarot, guys. Are you proud of me? I- I did a good one. What'd I get this time, though? Oh, oh, what am I getting? I got two of one. <laughs> I feel like it. Whatever, two of ones. The research development. Oh, you know what? These are bad. This isn't fun. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but here you go. Thank you very much, Repeated Axe Gaming, for the $2. First Toy Cat stream, it's awesome. This is high quality stream entertainment. We watch wheat grow all day, every day. Non stop wheat growing. You think the wheat's gonna stop growing? It's not, because it's all day, every day. Only on the IBX Toy Cat live stream. Um, I pay for your pizza because you are indeed yes. Oh man, my pizza today. I'm thinking now, like, wish I could have a slice of pizza. Would improve my life immeasurably. Wait, chat. You know, what? let's roll some dice. I'm gonna watch the wheat. I'm gonna get some Skittles. I think Skittles would help my evening out. What's your favorite flavor of Skittles, chat? I feel like Toy Cat's getting addicted to these gambles. I definitely am. He's like an absentee father, says Tate. <laughs> the sour ones, green and red, red. The brown ones, red as a flavor. Red is a flavor, I'll give you that. It shouldn't be a flavor, but in Skittle parlance, it definitely is. We could try and get like a fortune shovel and get more seeds that way. It's not a good idea, but we could do it. Okay, we're gonna try and go down the corner. There we go. So now we've got another 20-ish wheat. We need to do that two or three more times and we're golden. So like, we, re we really are making Amazing progress here. It's not all the progress we need, but it's most of it. What just happened there? I placed. Okay, well, that's fine. Me and my lesbian GF will gladly make you pasta, says August. See, you know, that's all I want from livestream, you know, sometimes. Like, you know, give me your money, yes. But also, I just want your pasta, you know. Actually, it's the exact opposite. I'd rather have your money and then buy my own pasta that doesn't potentially get me murdered from strangers on the internet. But. You know, lesbian pasta, easily my second favorite thing that I want. Right after money. So anyway, he's getting pre-bred. Oh, we got 23 now. We can go trade another time with the villager. This is like me just building it up. Let's see, am I going to need to do a whole extra trade or not? I like that I've got a swamp villager locked up in this room. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, is that two or three more chat? It's so hard to say. All you need in life is a lesbian thing, you pastor. Yeah, honestly, that's what most people need in life. People act like World War III is about to happen. Let's get the Supreme Leader of Iran. Let's get Trump in a room. Let's get a couple of lesbians. Let's make him some pasta. Like, is it so hard? I don't know. See, I got myself some Skittles. Look at my bowl. I got this from a tiger or flying tiger. It's a Danish store that exists in the UK. It's a bowl that's also a cat. Look, it's got little kitty legs. Lesbian pasture is forever known as Toy Cat's favorite food. I'd love to do a poll with lesbians. Just to, um... Just to know, like... How many of them... You know, what their favorite type of pasta is as a group, you know? Like... You know? White people, overwhelmingly. Like salt and pepper as spices. And like, y'all don't like heat, you know? And in South American countries and other places, spice is a common thing. 
So what's the deal with uh, lesbians and pasta? Also paying low bracket toy cat tax after falling asleep to your videos for months says Eugenix. Is that meant to be like Agenix? Eugenics? Anyway, thank you so much, Mr. Agenix, for the five euros. I'm so glad my videos can help you fall asleep. Again, I used to take it as like a real like slight like, my videos shouldn't help you sleep. They should help you while you're awake. But I kind of just appreciate like, oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you uh, jumping into the toy cat tax hierarchy. Now every year I'm going to approach you for the same amount of money. And if you don't pay it, then I'm going to cause real issues. Because you know what? That's, that's what real government is. That's what real real taxation policy is too. So we're going to get this cow. We're going to put them in the, the batch of the rest of them too. We could probably kill another cow to get like some leather sorted. I probably should use the leather for armor, but haven't done it so far. Don't intend to start. So climb up here, Mr. Cow. Now up here. And now... There we go. Should we breed some cows? Let's not breed cows. I want to keep all the wheat for my main wheat project. No setbacks on this one for me. No setbacks. But, um... I just got back and you're still streaming. You got this toy cat. It's the stream that never ends. Can we all agree? The orange and the yellows are the worst Skittles. Like, they're just kind of pack fillers. They're just like there. Because apparently red... If it was all red and browns, red and purples, you'd like get used to it fast. These ones are just there to be like, hey, appreciate it more next time. Toy Cat, could you get Iron Armor with TNT? I found a lot of Iron Armor already, but I can't wear it because leather armor only and wood tools only. Them's the rules. Why is Toy Cat playing a survival let's play instead of beating the game? How many pearls does he have? I've got eight of them. I need four more. It's just more efficient to farm for them than to deal with the game at this point. It has been determined. All of them are the worst Skittles. All right, Coop Dog. Oh no, I missed a Skittle. All right, Coop Dog. Who beat you as a child? You can tell us all. Therapy session with Toy Cat. Mm. Okay, so I've got, these are American Skittles. I got them for Christmas because American Skittles have better flavors than ours. And boy, let me tell you about these delightful these delightful apple Skittles. Apple tastes so much better than lime. I don't know who is on team lime, but clearly something something beat as a kid. So yeah, we're just gonna chop down trees now. We're in the very last preparation phases of being the Ender Dragon. Um, dude, the world needs to opinion on Epic Gamers of the Furry fandom. The crossover between people who play games and furries is way higher than you'd expect, right? I find it really interesting. It's like, um... The crossover between a lot of groups is really interesting to me. Like... The demographic blend between... Like, PC gaming and, you know, dudes, for instance. Whereas, you know, when you go to console, it's close to 50-50. When you go to mobile, it's like dead on 50-50, I want to say. I think it's actually higher than 50-50 because of certain games. But, like, the... All these things that lead to, like, certain... Again, furries and furries and gamers, the overlap is way higher than you'd expect. And it makes you wonder, you know? It makes you wonder. Skittles are better than M&Ms. I always thought a great idea for, like, a a party bowl would be mix Skittles and M&Ms in one bowl. Just mess with everyone. These Skittles are really stale, by the way. I've kept them open for a very long time. Longer than one should keep Skittles open for. And you can tell. You can tell. M minus M equals nothing. They should sell M minus M's that are literally just... It's a bag of air. Honestly, prior to this, like, current day where people are like, Ooh, waste is bad. I think the best marketing campaign would be, We've stopped selling our product. Just like... Imagine if you went into KFC and they're just like, sorry, we don't sell chicken anymore. 
Cause you know that was um that was the Zash for Bird King. You want some Skittle ASMR? Do the wheel, says uh Mayor Merlove. Okay, let's do another wheel. Um What emotion? Okay, what emotion is Toy Cat right now? <laughs> well, you know what? They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Um, so, <laughs> uh, make some Skittles and some Reese's Pieces. That is an equally horrific idea that I'm totally going to have to do now. Okay, so we got one more trade. Lockdown right here. We are now just 19 bits a week. Wait, 18, 17 bits a week away from fulfilling our destiny. And that is some good news, no matter how you slice it. Thank you, Mystic Rainbow Dragon. You joke, but KFC my town actually ran chicken for a month, a few years ago. Oh yeah, there was a, there was a big chicken shortage in the UK. But like, uh, I was thinking like, great advertising campaign. Just like, say you don't sell your product anymore. People could go into the store and you'd be like, nope, don't sell that. You'd be like, what do you sell? Nothing. Why are you open? <laughs> Dunno, man. Ask management. And so everyone who goes into the store comes out disappointed. And then later you can reveal like, it was all a viral marketing scam. Are you finishing this tonight? So it's Jessica Forsyth. I probably shouldn't finish this tonight. It'd be better for my sanity not to. But I probably will anyway. So... What do we got right here? Um, do, 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 do. It's midnight, by the way. Happy New Day, everyone. Just saying, we can say Happy New Year. We can say Happy New Day. Who's going to stop me? And we need 17 more wheat. And then we got some magic going on. 17 more wheat. So, Kat, do you know the Diane Red Skips is made out of? Beetle shells. Gonorrhea. What disgusting thing are you going to say, friend? Mmm. I love Skittles. What emotion am I, guys? Ooh. These wheels are fun. This is this is hilarious. This is content. I'm lovesick and romantic, guys. And I'm also Hey alive! You boys made it. Let's just keep spinning till we die. This is how you play Russian roulette. I did three times in a row there. This is this is what Wait, how many people are watching? I want to I insult you all aptly. 1,100 people signed up to watch me spin a wheel and see if I die. You ever reconsider your life decisions, chat? You ever consider what you've signed up to see? You're enabling this. You're enabling my skittle consumption. Also, made the juice of a beetle's tummy. Oh, I already, I already knew it was beetle juice then. Go me. I love beetle tummy. I mean, Tommy's a bit of a, a bit of an old-fashioned way to say it, but I love beetle inside stomach. How delightful! Rip off M and M's from Audi Superior. Audi does rip off M and M's. I've been missing out my whole life. Okay, chat. I've got a red. I've got a brown. I've got sorry, purple. Oh no! Why do I keep losing Skittles? Squinting face with tongue. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jess Slimmer. I'm feeling romantic, and you are too. Uh, I do need a, I do need a cougar sugar mama. So, let's set this up. I'm sure. This wait, this is you. You say you watch this with your kids, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nah. That is something they need to hear. Um, you yeah, know, I think mostly. Okay, so I got three skills here, chat. I got a green one. <laughs> Make one. And I got a purple one. <laughs> Which of the three should we go with first? Or do I go for all three at once? They, they're all good flavors. Uh, American Skittles, I should clarify. 
Oh, the green ones. Oh, it's invisible. Because it's green. Red and purple. There you go. Gonna save the green for last. Just like a stoner at a good birthday party. Save the green till last. Save the green till last. Skittles are trying to kill themselves, stop from eating them because they know they taste bad. Who doesn't like Skittles? Like, what is wrong with you that you don't like the taste of Skittles? It's just sugar and sweet. Why is your store open? This gets to try and um, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, you say? Oh, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good at Russian Roulette these days. I could have made like $5 million if I was playing. Hey, chat, we got to 20 again, which means guess who can now sell their wheat to the farming man? Are you my friend, says Yetus Deletus? I pretend to be your friend for money, Yetus Deletus. That is our relationship to each other. That is the cruelty, the cruel reality of the internet. So yeah, we've got 18 emeralds now. We can up that by killing these cows. It was great to farm you all, but you just exist for leather, friends. Please give me more than like... Oh god, they're not dropping much leather at all. Okay, we got six leather. That's at least one more emerald. Let's go find a leather worker. If any are still alive. Admittedly, a pretty big if in this village. There you go, leather worker. Six. Yeah, we go. So Long, now. My son doesn't watch you. I'll let him watch live streams <laughs> after without sound. <laughs> this this live stream is like far too, uh, far too, far too long. But thank you so much, Jess Lima. Uh, right, that's like free super chats at free random different points. Loving the support. Very appreciated. Hi, McDonald's employee. IBX Toy Cat. Can I get milk diet water and a milk clear cup with some extra milk napkins? I don't understand your joke, but ha ha! Yes! Me too! Am I right? Yes! Ha ha! Funny. Indeed. We good. I have a new spinner game to recommend. Search for Meat Spin. So, what do you want me to. Oh no! An enderman! Okay. Um. So, what you want me to do is you want me to type into Google right now to find this Meat, meat Spin, is it? Game? Uh, you want me to type that into Google right now. And then it's like, it's a spinner to like, which meat you like most. That sounds pretty fun, actually. Again, so you want me to go to meat, it's probably like .com, right? It's probably like meatspin.com. Okay, I'll give, I'll give it a look right now. That sounds innocent enough, actually. Um, I have a fun story, actually. I, um, I got into like, okay, wait, this was, this was another non-attractive teacher story. Um, <clears throat> I had a teacher who was like, clearly from some rural area. Like, she didn't seem to understand, like, what it was like to live in a town of more than, like, seven people. Have I lost the Enderman now? Oh, jeez, I have not, I have not, I, I need to get back in the water with all the dangerous animals. Come get me, Enderman. Wait, where's he gone? All of that, and I didn't even get a chance to kill him. But, um, yeah, no, I had a teacher who, um, again, was very, from some form of rural area, didn't seem to understand how brutal kids were, I guess. Maybe she was just a first time teacher. And um, at one point, one of my, oh man, that tree just grew in front of my eyes. Oh, here we go. The dude's back. At one point, one of my, I, I one of my friends put my PC on its, a website, um, again, there's like a redirect that, because obviously that's blocked in any major place, the spinning of meat. But um, at my school, they hadn't blocked um, like a few redirects from it. So my friend put it on my PC, which was funny. I was like, ah, oh, you got me good. Oh, we got an enderpearl. Turns out the last one wasn't needed. It was like, haha, very funny. But she saw it and was just like, I think you need to be removed from school, Andrew? Like, she was horrified that she thought in class, I was just watching. Because <laughs> I couldn't get it off the PC. It's one of those ones where it rotates around. Um, so, she's just like, I am I think, I think you need to be out of school. 
And I think I almost got expelled that day. Um, Cause she, she like heavily tried to like get me kicked out of school. It's like, uh, that, like it, if you describe what happened to me in the worst sense, it's like student was watching X, Y, Z. It's like, you know, there, there are different ways you can describe the exact same event if you want to. And that event could have been described in lots of ways. And so that's the time I almost got kicked out of school because of a because of a teacher that was uh, she wasn't I, I don't think she just understood she was just like computers are crazy I don't know how to teach night no they they're charging seven okay it's fine because we got the extra pal now yeah it's it's good we're fine we're good we're normal so now we get rid of this actually we'll keep the leather for now we won't keep these we'll keep the carved pumpkin though and we'll put this in our offhand. Let's do this, boys. Enderman fight time is happening. Let's eat the last green skittle just for strength. And you spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. <laughs> That's like drilled into my head. Like, when I was a kid, instead of Rick rolling people, that was like the equivalent people did. It was brutal, man. It's that thing someone said earlier, like, being edgy. And then someone else is edgy. Then you gotta, like, out-edge each other. To the level where you spend each other spinning meat. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna talk about that one too much more. This is a family-friendly stream. I'm so friendly to all the families. The only thing I love more than being friendly to families... Is... Skittles. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Don't sing it, you have to mute it. I'd love it if I sung that close enough that it got, like, detected by YouTube. Man, I, I like that song. It's a pretty catchy song, right? Um, Search for Iron Villages, Desert Temples, and then you have an Iron Armor. Oh, no, the, 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 just for the fun of, like, having the most basic stuff, I want to finish Minecraft with just wooden tools and leather armor. So I can't. May I rattle your bones? You may, you mayn't rattle, rattle my bones, sir. You mayn't. Is mayn't a word? It feels like it might be one. I feel like I read about it in like a book from like the early 18th century. But I could be wrong. Chat is mayn't a word. I want to Google it, but also I'm on a. I've got things to do now besides look at wheat grow all day. You should make an adult-only video and make it restricted. K18. On YouTube, if you uh, age-restrict your content, it doesn't monetize. And it doesn't show up in uh, subscription feeds, I don't think. Or maybe it does, but basically you're killing a video. You're sending it out to die, and that's fine. If you don't mind a dead video. But as someone who does this as their profession, that's considered a bad idea. <laughs> Maint isn't a word is a word if you say it for long enough. Chat, let's let's make mayn't into a word. I mayn't do that. You mayn't do that for me. Um Okay, let's let's do this. My friend is really good at Russian roulette, he's only lost once. I mean I'm just saying Most people have a kill death ratio of zero to one when they die. All you have to do is commit one murder and you're significantly above average. Mayn't is a word. Very old fashioned, says Victory Shout NZ. Oh, I feel like I feel like chat has got very mixed opinions on whether it's a real word. Mayn't is a word, it's just really rare. It is a word, it's in the dictionary. Guess what? Toy Cat is reading out dictionary words now. That's how intellectual we are. But yeah, look at this. We can now with my twenty two emeralds guarantee Oh, we're we're gonna have enchanted leather armor. We literally, we're going to be able to enchant every bit of arm we have. It's going to be the most ludicrous thing we've ever done. I'm actually excited for this now. I'm, I'm really excited to watch this extreme stupidity go down. But yeah, it's happening. So we go back to our first village where we, where everything started. Petition, should took out be able to use armory finds even if it's above leather because the armor isn't a tool. Oh no, it's, it's not part of the wooden tools thing. It's just like a fun secondary challenge. Isn't necessarily. Mayn't sound like a Shakespeare word. It do sound like a Shakespeare word, it do. 
but I don't know if I be like that. Does your house have a name? Oh, horse, I'm assuming you mean. My horse's name is... Um, my horse's name is Banana. That's my horse's name. Because I tweet a bunch of those. And so only the horse knows my struggle of eating so many. Okay, so we've got a boat here. We'll put the horse in the boat. Sorted. And now... Let's pray the villagers somehow didn't die while I was gone. Thank God you're still there. My life gets so much harder without you, villager. Please just... Please just come to the door. Oh, so he hasn't refreshed his trade yet, so we have to wait. Also, he needs way more emeralds than I thought he did. Yeah, probably more than seven. Oops. So, chat, we made a big mistake, and now we're going to suffer for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming a cheap cat, my man, or my my wood, if you will. Uh, welcome to the club. Your exclusive towels will be arriving in the mail, and you have a Discord role if you want it. No buckets, never obscene blocks for the table. Uh, no to those things that you just said right now. Man, that, that gold armor is just taunting me. Like, I could have it, but also I can't. Oh, he's refreshing his, uh, his trades. Perfect. I don't know how I would have gone through all this effort and still only gotten two, like, pearls from this guy. But I think that's going to be what ends up happening here. Oh. Hey there, friend. Okay, I'm just going to buy these from you. Yeah, if we... Oh, if we spend more than two poles more, which we have to, then... Oh, man. <laughs> Do you want to go stare at some wheat for a bit longer? Chat? Do you think that'd be fun? If we just... Oh, there's wheat up there! We can... There's no farmer villagers here, but we can go back and almost immediately be done. Okay, we're fine. It's gonna be okay, chat. It's gonna be okay. Because I guess the wheat is still growing even when we're not here or something along those lines. I don't understand the, lo understand the logic. I just know we're okay. Um, so, Cat, what do you think your channel rating is? How young is too young to watch your channel? Uh, personally, I put it at the age of, like, if you're, if you're able to make decisions for yourself, you should watch my channel. If you're not able to make decisions for yourself, then my channel is not right for you. Um, like, if you're the sort of person who's like, I'm not allowed to hear, uh, people questioning my religion, or I don't know, I'm, I'm just ma making up a ridiculous thing, or like, I'm not allowed to hear swear words, and you'd watch it even though you're not allowed to, or whatever. Oh no, I didn't want this. Do I want this? I don't think I do want this. Actually, I kind of do. It'll give me great prices. Do you want another raid chat? I don't think we should. Let's run out of the village before the raid starts. Come on. No, no, no. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. It started. So that's a problem. It perhaps goes without saying. Thank you, Pikesel, for the one pound super chat. That's definitely how you say your name. So we're going to sneak up on the pillagers while they're not looking. As opposed to sneaking up on them while they are looking. Okay, just just do it this way. Just 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 stop looking. Don't don't pay attention to me. Oh, they drop emeralds though, so that's good. Don't hit me. Ouch. Okay. Hide behind this. Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Okay. He can't kill me anymore. I did get an. En okay, this is my way of getting en uh, uh, emeralds. Actually, it's a stupid way to get emeralds. It's not a long-term solution. But it is a short-term solution. And that's what I care about right now. No, no. Okay. We're very close to death, so we have to be extra cautious about stuff like this guy. Have I already been inside this house and taken their bed? I have not. Go to sleep. Sleep to set your spawn. Yeah, it's small things to do just in case we do get wrecked as well. Okay, so the pillager is chilling over there. Oh, he got stuck in the boat. 
I don't know if that's actually a good thing for me. I feel like it's actually not. Oh no, not the horse. Okay. So now before any of this actually starts, I just need to... No, 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 go over here, please, friend. Uh, please come over to... I hate, I hate this, whatever this is so much. Just, okay, bye, 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 all the way. We got level four, perfect. So now we can buy these. Yes, we're out there, we're out there. I don't care about you guys anymore. We're done. So now I just need to get into my boat, and I need to go. Easy said. Not easily done because of how boats and horses work together. Let's go. Let's go. Please don't hurt the horse. Please stop hurting the horse. Chat, we have now officially gone all 12 eye offenders, and all it took was a pillager raid. Get the totem. Uh, Based on how I used my totem last time, I don't want to do it again. I'd rather just die in the end and be like, guess it's not possible. <laughs> That's what I'd rather do. Nothing like watching plants grow, but I have to watch paint dry pretty soon. We moved on past that, thank you very much. Leave your sarcasm for the next time we do that, which probably won't be too long. But yeah, we're out there. Good news, chat. 12 eye offenders have been gathered. So we might have to chop... Again, I don't know what... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to go get my... Oh, this is a pain. But I need to go get my leather. So I can make some leggings and a new helmet, apparently. I might have put TNT in the chest as well. Bring the horse to the end, says Jibay. You better believe I'll be doing that. There's no point not bringing him to the end, right? Okay, so we're going to be real fast about this. Real... Oh, we got a lead as well. That's handy. Got a lead on some secret stuff. Orange square for 0.253 milliseconds. There you go, friend. Okay, there's a Vindicator. They are scary dudes. You do not want to mess with them. Okay, there is some pumpkins in there. I don't know why I even... Sp okay, that's cool. Thank you. Iron chest plate goes in here because I don't want it. Uh, there's no lever in here. I don't know where lever went then. We got some arrows in case that's useful. Uh, we definitely need lever and we definitely need the gunpowder for TNT. That's my entire plan. Oh, we need it for other stuff as well. Where did I place my gunpowder? I hope we have gunpowder elsewhere in the world. What's my sugar cane that I... Oh, God. We'll get it on the way. We'll find sugar cane on the way. There's a lot of things I've been kind of like putting off about this round. You slayed Johnny. Is Johnny. Um, but yeah, we're, we're on the right track now. We're on the right track. Fish slapped the ender dragon for the win. It has been forever since I have fish slapped someone. Um, I like this channel. It's very chill. Yeah, I find um, a lot of YouTube's there for high energy. And that's cool. There's no reason... If, if people like high energy, there's no reason for YouTubers not to provide them with it, right? Uh, but I find artificial high energy is, like, annoying to watch, right? Like, it's like, you're not that excited. Stop pretending you are. <laughs> but I think people like someone who pretends to be overexcited. Have you ever played Crash Bandicoot before, says Aiden Robinson? I have, actually. My favorite Crash game was Crash Bash, though. Um, yeah, I really like Crash Bash for the PS1. Like, I played Crash 1 and 3, maybe. Uh, why can't you use Diamond Arm for a horse to cat? Technically, you're not wearing it. Your horse is. Yeah, I got Diamond Arm yesterday, but, like, it probably wouldn't have saved my horse anyway, so that's fine. I've only played Crash Bandicoot 2 and Crash Bash, but I've heard CTR is amazing. Oh, I played, yeah, I played uh, the, the new CTR remake. And then they added micro... They remade a PS1 game and they added microtransactions. Can we just... Oh, Activision. Pulled a... It's just... The way the world works is... What if games, but microtransactions? You can make a million dollars convincing someone about that. I went to dinner and came back and you're still streaming. Damn straight. Damn straight. I was at my friend's house once and we weren't too serious about doing much in Minecraft. Then a raid started and I was like, got a man and now it's his best Minecraft. 
Minecraft world. Oh, you're like, you, you're like, okay, we've got to be serious about this now. I can, I can see the logic. Um, a toy cat, LA, who made up handsome Brandon. Didn't have to respond to comments like that, so I just don't. <laughs> Sorry, internet. Um, don't even have the PlayStation 3. F in chat for CTR game match sanctions. They tried to spin it like such a positive change too. You can tell every game that's going to get microtransactions, you can tell this is, every game does this too, where they they make it so that like the earnings of the in-game currency is super slow, unreasonably so. And then they're like, don't worry though, there's mi no microtransactions. And then you just lie and you add them anyway. That's how you make money in the game industry. Uh, it's super annoying, but such is life. So, where's the green square? So I can't, I'm disappointed in you. In reality, no. Hello, I'm back. Don't die this time. This time is the best time. We're gonna get it done. We've got our eye offenders. We've got our wooden sword, <laughs> which is some of the requirements for this. We've got our food. We just need TNT and maybe some, some gunpowder. Some gunpowder to make TNT, but then... Other things as well. <laughs> Has anyone told you you're a brilliant IBX toy cat? Your conversation is very random, but you seem very wise whenever you speak. Uh, I don't know if I'm wise. I just say things. <laughs> like, I think most people, when they're coming up with things to say, they're not doing it on the basis of trying to impart knowledge, maybe. Like, people say things because it's fun to say. I try to focus on the intent it might have when delivered. Um, I don't always succeed and mess up sometimes. But, I don't know, it's, it's one of the weirdest things about the world that so many people do that exact same thing. And it's like, the point of, the point of a conversation, it's not so that you can, it's not so that you can say things to each other. The point of a conversation is so that you just say whatever comes to mind and that makes you feel good. And, I I I think I'd enjoy life more if I lived by those standards, but it just it just isn't how I live, sadly. So I this will be a video, correct? Uh, all three of these parts be condensed down into a probably much shorter video, with much less faffing around. Are you wearing cool socks, Toy Cat? No, I'm wearing I'm wearing my Costco socks today. I I love I love new sock feeling, a lot. So I I bought a lot of new socks. So I could get it like once a week to like, you know, it, it gets me through the week sometimes. Just getting, getting a new pair of socks on makes me feel good. It's like, you know what? People can say things are going badly, but I have the new socks while well, their lives are in tatters. So, you know, that's kind of how things are. Do you drink, I mean, alcohol before you make it funny, says Violet Walton. Do I drink? Like most other humans, <laughs> I drink on a daily basis. Ha <laughs> ha. No, um, I don't, I don't really drink alcohol much, actually. I drank a lot when I was a teenager. Uh, what British teenager hasn't? Uh, nowadays, it's like, it's like a functional trade-off. It's like, you make your evening slightly more fun, but you make the day after less fun. But I value, like, all time a lot. So to me, that's actually quite a painful trade-off. Um, maybe wrongfully so. Hello, Toy Cat. I found out you had a stronger accent a few years ago. Yeah, I uh, I speak to too many darn Americans. They ruin my accent. I've been trying to, like, re-accent a little bit recently, just for fun. All I have to do is pronounce words correctly, like, I was going to the shop and I spoke like the queen. You see, that is how you say things. You say things correctly. You're trying to pronounce every letter in every word. You drink on stream a fair amount. I had like a cider today that was 2.5 units. Wow, I am a big boy drinker. Here's a cool fact for you all. This has the same amount of alcohol in as this. Oh, oh, that noise was much louder than I was expecting. Oh, that like stung my head. Certain noises like mess with my brain and that is one of them. You sound less British when you enunciate. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. 
Why does everyone pronounce my name as Aiden, not Alden? There's too many people called Aiden, you see, Mr. Alden Robinson. That was a bad sound. <laughs> I'm sorry, Internet. I'm sorry for doing that to you all. I didn't mean to. Or maybe I did. You know what? You deserve that. I'm victim blaming now. What What have you done not to deserve that? You shouldn't have worn your shirts, skirts, so, so gosh darn short, Internet. Can you show the internet your toes, IBX Toy Cat? No. I cannot. Rainbow Square. Let's do the whole spectrum for the square. Um, Beldivere and Angry Orchard. I actually never drink Beldivere. Like, I got this from Poland and- Oh, wait! When does alcohol expire, actually? Uh, 2060716 20... 2060? That can't be right. Chat, how do, how do you know when alcohol expires? Because I literally bought this when I traveled in like 2015, 2016. And that was a while ago now. Oh, my, pos my passport's exactly five years old. It's like halfway for its term this year. It's gonna be sad replacing that. I'm quite happy because then I can get a bit. Glorious, I only live to see the orange square. Um, we be streaming in three hours still. Um, I'll just I'll just kill myself and say the challenge failed if I'm still streaming in another hour. It's usually a couple of years beside her. I miss my ex toy cat, says Drew the Artists. You know what? Your ex doesn't miss you, or you wouldn't be exes. That's exactly what you need to hear right now. It's alcohol, it's a preservative that you keep things from expiring. But there's gotta be something that like, there's gotta be like a date where it runs out, right? Probably. That sounds like science to me. Anyway, so um, no, uh, like, this is, this is like, that's harsh on now. No, it's um, when it comes to the ex thing, if it's like you miss your ex, the trick is, remember the bad things about her. Like, you couldn't do that while you were together, because it was, like, de destabilizing for the relationship. But it's all you should be doing right now. Moldy alcohol. Um, but it's, like, right now... Oh, we need to kill creepers. Hey there, Mr. Green guy. No gunpowder, thank you. I love when mobs don't drop things. Feels very rewarding. <laughs> I forgot the horse was this terrible. Look how high this horse jumps. Don't call this terrible. Uh, chat, do you remember where my my village is? I feel like... I feel like I've lost it. And I don't want to waste an eye offender. It will literally break my heart. Not figuratively. Literally. It might be back that way. Um, yeah, I'm going to go this way just in case, though. We do another veganism speed run. Oh, I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing can, like a Minecraft about X challenge for can you beat Minecraft while being a vegan and a pacifist? It's going to be the last like video version one as opposed to a live stream. But I did it just as like, uh, well, Let's let's do one of these, you know. I think it'd be a fun like send off to the series. Should have built a tower to sky height. Uh wouldn't have helped me at this range. I know what the biome looks like. I just don't know if we're near said biome. Four thousand and four. Sixty six four seventeen. Wrong village, but thank you very much anyway. I'll find it my okay, if we go to Videos, live events, Vi oh, wait, video, I'll, I'll find it. So it's live stream, uh, so it's raining now. Love that. Should I take a file independent 2019 takes so I want to move to Colorado this? Should I file as an independent on 2019 taxes if I want to move to Colorado this year? I... Chat, I, I'm no tax expert. I like taxes, but I'm not a tax expert. But what what is he asking? How does moving to Colorado relate to filing as an independent? 
Like, if you are not independent, don't file as independent. If you are independent, file as independent. That is my... Ouch. That's my high quality pro tip for you right there. 3, 9, 30. Everyone's linking the wrong... Everyone's saying the wrong place. Okay. 1,000... Okay, someone's got it. 1,167553. That sounds correct enough. Yeah, it's probably down a lot more. Yeah, that sounds more correct. Thank you, Toy Cat. I ordered a chicken and egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. <laughs> Vlogger man. I know that's a stolen joke, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. That. Let's just let's just all take a moment and appreciate appreciate that one right there. <laughs> You know, I was having a rough evening, but now I'm having a good evening. Make that snow snowier. The only thing this snow needs is more snowiness. Um, Fairy, Seed, Seed Sunday Toy Cat and Livestream Toy Cat are two different people. Fun fact, it's true. We have nothing in common. Wasn't that on your outro yesterday? Um... Wasn't the outro yesterday like, I have nothing to say? I don't know why it was. It was a weird outro. It made me uncomfortable. I was like, why would you? You're streaming this again? Will you finish it today? Says Addison, the DJ. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're behind the village now. Okay, we're there. Um, simple answer is yes. Long answer is I don't get to make that decision, Sonny. Uh... Committing tax fraud says fear of wisdom. I'm not Yoshi. I would never commit tax fraud. Uh, it's okay. Have you ever seen the Joker? It's literally one of the best movies I've ever seen. Uh, let's not let's let's cool down on the Joker prayers. Like, is it an okay movie? Yes. Would I watch it again? I mean, if someone strapped me to a chair and forced me, sure. You know, is it revolutionary? I I think it's just like. It's a really good portrayal of the Joker. But as a movie by itself, it's just like... That was pretty good. Okay, this is definitely not where the village is, by the way. I have... Not found the village. Help me chat. I've gone off on the deep end. Help me very much. That person lied at the coordinates. So... Oh, wait. Is it just over there? I was about to win the stream and just be like, well, we'll deal with this another time. But... Okay, boom. We need the watermelon toy cat. The watermelon toy cat. Tell us tell us about the numbers. Uh, can you tell us the secrets of your hair? The trick to hair is if you show it to people all the time, they'll never know what's going on. That's the secret. That's what big hair doesn't want you to know. Let's just kill the zombies. Probably a waste of a wooden sword, but just not my issue right now. Uh, we need to kill creepers, but it's night. Like, it's snowing, so, you know, I hate that more than I like creepers. I'm a joke was pretty great, but a tad too artsy at times. A tad too artsy. I mean... Like, yeah, I feel like every movie when it tries to go... Oh, wait, we need the horse. We're taking this horse into the... Oh, no, it's going to be tricky to get him in the, in the stronghold room. I forgot how tricky it is to, like, take horses to the end of you. Real fame. You know, I thought he was going to do the whole journey. I thought he was in for the whole, whole, whole way of me. But sadly, horse, this is where me and you, we part ways. We make... We're going our own way now, horse. We're separating. It's been a long time... Without, I don't know how the song goes. Without you, my friend. Because I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. There we go. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Just like in the meme. Perfect. Different ways. Anyway, so let's do this. Let's go fight a dragon, shall we, boys? And girls. We're mostly boys. Actually, statistically about 50-50. But you know, the, wor the way, way people say it on the internet is boys. And that is what I'm sticking with. 
Um, goodbye, banana. You're a good horse, says mostly ghostly. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it was called banana. <laughs> Sad Minecraft music in the background. So that, that was a beautiful little, uh, little thing right there. Uh, have you ever... No. Honestly, you know, I think I'd be honest and let you know if I had. But it hasn't even struck me as a thing that I'd even want to try yet. Um, ooh, now you say it, though. Sounds pretty tempting, eh? Sounds pretty tempting. Okay, so I think this is the way. It's been so long since I've been through this whole nonsense. Okay, this way, right? And then this way. The horse that got away. You know, we all have a horse that, despite our best efforts, manages to get away from us. Okay, this is the moment, chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Welcome back. Twelve! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fight a dragon. I, I'm hor horrifically worried I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait, we'll, we'll enchant. We'll enchant now. We'll enchant in the end, you know. We can we can do it there. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Let's make a crafting table now. Just to make life easier when we get there. Oh, we need an axe now. Oh, we got an axe, it's fine. Let's go! We are going to the end, but we're doing so in a mildly inefficient way. Um, please don't fly towards me, dragon, or all of this work we just did will be made rendered useless in a few seconds. Oh, look, you can see my end location, but on the map. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you very much, Addison DJ. I'm going to do this. So, in case you're curious as to how I'm going to make this work, because you might be thinking, Toy Cat, how are you beating the Ender Dragon with just wooden tools? And we probably could do it with the wooden tools here, but it's a big risk, and for a live stream, you know, it's a very scary risk to take. So instead, my plan is to walk out this way, throw away the rotten flesh, and my plan is to fight the dragon with an Elytra. The Elytra makes fighting the dragon so much easier. Uh, we've got snowballs as well. We've got like all the goodies we need to have a good time. Except a crafting table. Okay, make one of these. Make some more slabs, make some more slabs, make some more slabs, and there we go. So now the dragon's so far away, she can't hit us even if she wants to. And we're gonna go do this. Does the Elytra count as a wooden tool? It doesn't count as a tool, it's a piece of... It's a... It's made from leather, right? I mean, it was made from leather. Oh, it's, it's repaired with leather. Or it was repaired from leather, I mean. It counts as leather armor. I thought snowballs no longer worked. Don't tell me this, space cat. Don't tell me this now. Whoops, kids, kids, good for... High quality super chat. How'd you get an enchantment table? All random stuff we found out there in the uh, blacksmith chests. Wait, I missed you going to the end. We are in fact in the end, in the void of nothingness that is the gap between islands. What if you come back and there are 12 dragons? <laughs> well, if that happens again, you know, we win by default. The game cheated, so that's the game's problem. Um, <clears throat> so, um, how'd you get an enchantment table? It says KOA sucks. Oh, I already asked that one. The shoes has been taxing. The Elytra is made out of leather. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you, Dame Moodley. We need more people who are like, you know what? It's fine. We can just say, even if it wasn't, which it definitely is, it was made out of leather anyway. What would it matter? So, um, yeah, this is the... This is the intent part of the run. But it's also the most important bit. So I need to focus. I need to not fall off. I need to... All these things need to be done correctly. Why are you so far away from the end island? This is where you go to relax and meditate, friend. If you don't meditate, how will you defeat the dragon? 
It's a pretty basic question. Um, speed bridge toy cat. Oh yeah, I've, speed bridging is something so cool to watch. And it would be a lot easier on bedrock. But in reality, actually just on bedrock you just walk like this. If one of these blocks doesn't place, we die by the way. That'd be amusing, right? Oh, Jesus. Speed bridge. Hi, Toget, how's your day? My day's been a mixed bag so far, I'd say. It's been a whole mixed thing. Why are you building out? To get us. Um, no, I'm trying to get out to the end islands because that's where the Elytras are. I think the Elytras is the secret pro tip we need in our lives. Look around you. Yeah, it's it's always it's it's always intimidating to do that like look around you, isn't it? It's never a good feeling. It's just a feeling that you have to have. Pick up one of these. Grab a bunch of slabs. Wood up. Do this. I need to sneeze. I think I made a point that you <coughs> I think I said you can't stream, you can't sneeze while you're doing public speaking earlier. But I just proved that point wrong. I mean, that's my first, that's my first sneeze stream in forever. You proud of me, internet? I sneezed on stream. I didn't think I could do it. But you know, I believed in myself. I stuck to my guns. And here we are. Uh, with a successful sneeze below my belt. Nothing is impossible now. Internet. Nothing, I tell you. Uh, thank you very much, Rainsabol, for the Canadian $1 super chat. So, we'll come back for that one piece of wood, don't worry. Just in case. Still going, what a champ. You sneezed on stream, good job. Sneezing while driving is the worst. <laughs> look around, look how... Oh, wait, we'll wait till just because I'm the stream. Fine, I can add this to my sneeze compilation. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I hope that that's a joke, but it's funnier if it's not, so. Uh, look around, look how ha lucky you are to be alive right now. Eliza Hamilton song, that would be enough. Eliza Hamilton. Uh, oh, from the musical Hamilton, probably. I've been having to watch that for a while. Rare sighting of Toy Cat sneezing on camera. Have I ever sneezed on stream before? I genuinely don't know if I have. I think your sneezing compilation would be me sneezing then. That's like 100% of my sneezes. It's pretty crazy, right? Oh, I've never sneezed on camera besides that moment. Like, it's pretty nuts. I keep trying to skip the bridging, but at last this is live. I'm sorry, internet. You're gonna have to watch me bridge for a thousand blocks. A thousand blocks. It's, uh, in Soviet Minecraft, wooden tools beat you. But, uh, Hamilton's the greatest show I've experienced in my life. Yeah, like, I, I hate musicals. I hate music. And I hate musical... I hate musical TV shows more. It's like, no, you're a... You're a sh this is... You're a movie. You're a TV show. Shut up with the songs. This, this isn't what I came here for. Um. But... Um... I forgot where that four was going. I was just mad at TV shows. Oh, really? No. What? I thought everything crashed my PC. Minecraft just crashed. What is with the end? What did I do to offend you, Minecraft? What did I do to the end dimension? I was so sure my PC crashed and I was like, this again? Minecraft just crashed. It just, it just... <sighs> it's fine. The world's probably still there. Ugh, <sighs> man. <laughs> Prepare for 12 dragons. <laughs> if there are 12 dragons in there, we just save and quit and, and so we, we say we did it, okay? That's the plan. <laughs> um... Minecraft stream, but oh, tonight I beat the Wither and the Ender Dragon says it's Jacob. Congratulations! Tonight I placed a lot of wood and then my game crashed. We have a lot in common. Thank you, Mischievous, Ouch, for the ten pounds. Ouch, sad crying face. 
too. Cheese cat, you're not. Cheese cat, please stop with the. Okay, you're not. Oh my god. Oh, I need. I need to. Cheese cat, you'll be banned. Please stop what you're doing. Okay, just. You're banned now, cheese cat. Sorry. You spammed, and now it's now it's gone. Um. Yeah, if you if you don't know when you become a member, the spam filter doesn't get applied to you, and they just abused it by spamming four times a second F. So it's like you shouldn't really be doing that. So the image was from the last time I saved this world, but the, the world should save continuously. So we're good. Don't worry. We're gonna get back to this. It's gonna be the best. We just have to focus, get this road built, get to the end islands. Just get over there and then- No! 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 I accidentally hit F9 and I- I might have uh- I might have accidentally turned off the stream. Why Minecraft? Why? 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 Why is that a bug? It just spawned me in the void. Just spawned me. In the void. Why? Bedrock Minecraft! <laughs> Why is that a bug? Okay, one sec. Sorry. Oh no, no! It's fine. The world's probably Instant still replay. There. Oh, sad. Instant replay, chat. Doesn't get applied to you. And they just abuse okay. it by spamming four times. Just get. You can see right here. So, what happened if we go back like a few seconds, maybe? As you can see how the world's We're generating. Gonna this. It's gonna be the best. Um, we just have to focus. I'm, I'm hyped, I'm excited. Get to the end. I wanna see this happen. Get over and it just spawns me no, below my no. platform. It just spawns me, for some reason, below the platform. Meaning, not only did I die, not only did Minecraft, a bug Minecraft had by the way, it crashed me, which meant I left the world, which meant when I joined, I spawned below my platform. For whatever reason, but it killed me. But... <sighs> so, this is the second, arguably the third end bug we've had. Um, everything we had is lost. My food, my bridge blocks, my everything, my armor, my enchanting table. Ah! <laughs> it's so gone. It's, so you have to start again from scratch if you wanna beat Minecraft with Windows only. Um, so I, for your travels, thank you, man. Thank you so much for watching this. I don't have, I don't have it within me to try and do this anymore. <laughs> also, it's good to see your bolts, if that's the real bolts in the chat. But I don't have the power to do this anymore. Thank you so much for- We are not alive. They Ivy. Rest in peace, Ivy X Toy Cat. Rest in pepperonis. I'm gonna do, an, I'm gonna finish this. I swear, the game might kill me with its bugs, but that doesn't mean that I am gonna let it defeat me. So, we're gonna be taking the same world, we've got the end portal done now. We'll have to make new wooden tools, kill new creepers, make new food, and then we can do it, okay? It'll be like a week, but next Thursday, we're gonna destroy that dragon. So thank you very much for watching everyone, because I'll see you all in another live stream. Goodbye. My hand is so messed up. Look look at my hand. <laughs> anyway, yeah, goodbye friends. Love you all a long time. Thank you for the supportive donations, Jamie Seguenis, Mining Team, and Rain Sabul. And thank you for everyone who watched any amount. Actually, no, thank you for everyone for three hours of this insanity. Uh, just to have it all be taken away at the best moment. Uh, goodbye.